three, two. Wow. Welcome everybody to the H3 podcast. Woo! That's right. It's December 11th, one day before my beautiful wife's birthday. Woo! That's right. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. Was also saying Malik is downstairs helping Sam with the set. It is Woo! all good vibes. Woo! Love to see him. Thank you. Uh, all good, good vibes happening here, and we're all so very excited because this is our last week of shows, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Sunday, we are coming to you live from the world-famous Dolby Theater. H3 Podcast Steamies presents extravaganza, guests, goofs, surprises, laughter throughout. Yes. It is yes. going to be a night to remember so YouTube's excited. sexiest it's night. It's YouTube's sexiest night! Also, guys, get your votes in because um, democracy matters. Democracy speaks. That's right. Rock the vote, people. Rock the vote. Uh, it's, I think, pinned on, on Twitter and in the chat. How many votes we got coming in here, uh, Ian? Here, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll start spamming in the chat, too, here. Uh, Ian's they looking. They call them dumps. What our uh, vote count here is. Is it? Am I? Sh I've seen this. When I get coffee and there's like. Cur like white curds on top is that weird i was weird? trying to it's from the cr little creamer but like packets but is that is that does that mean it's bad or is it fine to drink nah. no it's fine Why? to drink i really? just i was trying to stir it and they just wouldn't go it's just is like because sometimes it's there sometimes it's not and so i'm like hmm yeah let me know Fuck if off. it tastes any bit weird i'll tell me and i'll, I'll get good. you a new one i fished Why? Some <laughs> Mm. Oh, we have 50,000 50, votes. 50,000 votes. The, the people are speaking their minds. Your I think voice good. heard. I, I'm actually really excited, though. It's going to be such a fun electric show. Uh, people coming, there will be the uh, Teddy Fresh um, sample sale happening as usual at our live shows. Yeah. Woo. It will be cash only, but I'm trying to get an ATM next to the booth do we have an update on that uh yeah there are atms there um oh there are yes somebody told me there wasn't okay that's good we love that i i looked into it and they they have atms on site good so uh what else we got today's episode is sponsored by stamps.com who we love 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 <laughs> happy hanukkah to all my uh jewish brothers and Woo! sisters out there you have any lockers yet Nagila, baby you have any latkes yet? Yeah, my mom made some yesterday, but I gotta be- uh, I'll be totally honest, and I only say this because she- she said at first, they were not good. Really? She tried to hit me with that, um, Manischewitz, bro. Mm. But she, like, she tried to do what I did, remember? Uh-huh. But she added, like, onion and shit to it. You can't add to the- To the box. Pre-made. The box is perfect as is. That's it. So, so, something- something didn't go right. Something went terribly wrong. Damn. But we have been doing Hanukkah with the boys, and it's been super fun. It's the first year we did this with the Christmas tree and the presents and everything. It's 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 very, very nice, fun, exciting time. <laughs> Zach, you doing anything, doing anything for Hanukkah? I've been really sick. Uh, but uh, my parents uh, got me a gift. They dropped it off. They got me a Lego. So um, A badass sick. Lego? Yeah, they got me the Concorde uh, airplane, um, which is really fun build. Can you pull that up? I want to see the what Concorde? the Concorde. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> well, the Concorde was like the supersonic uh, commercial jet from like the '90s, but it hasn't existed. <laughs> is that a, in a rare long time. one? Where do you even get that one? Yeah, I'll send you a picture of the build. Yeah, let me see the build, that Zach. Uh, see the build. How do you know it's a fun build? Because I built it. <laughs> oh, you already built it. It's done. You didn't yeah. spit. You didn't sit on that for a second. Here, here it is. Oh, get out of here! What is this? Just let me get out of here. Okay, there you go. It's the oh, Concord. that is a fun build. <laughs> that's that's sick. a fun build. iconic build. Yeah, oh, he, sent he sent a picture of his. Okay, all right. Well, Teddy's definitely got the Lego bug, Zach. And uh, I think you started a whole Lego revolution here. I'm to be honest. I'm very, very happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, happy Chinooka to everybody. One more time from Smokey. We love Smokey Chinooka. Robbins. I have no idea what Chinooka is. Zach, you got to pull this. Happy Chinooka, <laughs> because they said so. 
<laughs> anyway, God bless you, babe. And enjoy Chinooka. Have a wonderful time. This man's been in Hollywood for decades. <laughs> Chinooka. <laughs> this man has wished me a happy Chinooka. We love him, though. We love him. Smokey, you can't beat the, the music. Look at this shelf. Let's see. So today we've got... Whoa, Zach. That's like a straight museum. Holy smokes. Oh, my God. That's huge. Look at that build. Yeah, it's been bigger in person. That's what she said. Oh, mm, right. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. Nah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> um, we have a great show planned today. We have a segment that's been in the works. The crew is competing to see who can create the best uniform. That's right. We are next uh, next year in our new season are moving into the utopian for not the dystopian the utopian version where we all everybody wears the same outfit what is that like is that meant to be like communism where everyone wears the same outfit where everyone's like perfectly like homogenous uh, and and like culturally identical and is that a communist thing definitely not but isn't that the utopian vision no what are you talking about what, everybody, everybody wears, wears the, the same, same thing, thing? Yeah, no, no, I, I don't think Karl. Like I don't think Karl Marx ever that's, wrote anything about that's that. That's definitely, <laughs> definitely communism. Yeah, you know Karl Marx, about, like. communism, <laughs> Russia, Soviet Union, no, yeah. Karl Marx North said, Korea. Wait, uh, hold on. He said, he, "Drip or drown, dude." Drip yeah. or drown. <laughs> Karl Marx. That's just a that's just a Jared Leto concert. That's it. True. Right, right. But right. an idea like right. that. We're all equal, bro. Everybody's the same. We yep. all wearing right. the same jumpsuit. That's yep. that's what it is. Okay. Well, that's us. So. <laughs> so the crew uh, each designed a new uniform, and we are going to execute and deliver the new uniform to all of us to wear all year next year. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we'll be wearing next year, every episode. Got to set the vibe for 2024. And we're letting the audience decide that? Isn't that it the idea? Like a terrible mistake. To enforce what we have to wear, they're going to make us wear the most ridiculous Well, one. you guys designed it, so if there's a problem, it's on you. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Oh, oh my God. God. So that's our segment coming up here. <laughs> there's also some juicy goss in the news. I might be breaking this to an extent. I haven't seen many people talking about it, but a lawsuit was filed by this state. Is big news. Thank you. State Farm Insurance is suing David Dobrik uh, over the Jeff Wittick accident. More on that later. Got to keep you watching. You know what I mean? Oh, what a hook! Don't be a... don't be looking for those timestamps in the mm -mm. in the timeline chapters. No way. No way. Uh -uh. Not on this only episode. cheaters yes. use chapters. Yes. Uh -uh. That's true. Uh, what's State Farm's? Uh, what's their like? Slogan? If you're a good neighbor, Stay Farm is there. Yes, that I think, was right. right? Yes. Yeah. Like a good neighbor, Stay Farm is there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. But State Farm is huge, man. So, like, it's got to be a, l a lot of money. Otherwise, I don't think they'd bother. State Farm net worth? $130 billion, y'all. They're coming for you, David. <laughs> These motherfuckers <laughs> with $130 billion said we need to recoup from David Dobrik. Actually, they were worth 140 last year. They they took a dip. Took a big hit. Probably because of the Jeff Witter Probably. Injury. Yeah. yeah. They're coming to recover. Yeah. <laughs> like a good neighbor. <laughs> yeah, just like a good neighbor. <laughs> Here they are. Um so anyway, that's coming up. I'm so I'm I'm buzzing for the live though this weekend. Are you guys feeling excited? I know everyone's been working super super hard. On preparing everything, you got there's so much work to do with uh, editing, prepping, uh, organizing. The logistics of it has been nuts, and this is by far our biggest, most complex uh, show we've put on. And this, and including the space, is big and complex. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of moving parts here going on. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah. No, I'm super excited. My mom's coming, mm -hmm. which is really cool. I was oh, she is. That. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. that's. Are you gonna? You she gonna come backstage, right? Uh, yeah, she'll come backstage. I'd like mm -hmm. to say hi. A bunch mm -hmm. of our parents are coming. We need to seat them. Oh, all bring together. them all. Bring them all back. <laughs> We've got a great craft service, right, Dan? <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Bring them back. Feed them. 
Let's take care of them. Uh huh, Mom. I'm coming, Mom. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Mom, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, anyway, Love did a photo shoot with Teddy Fresh. You know how we do these. Mm-hmm. And boy, it's a good time. Woo! Look good, man. They fed me. Oh, we time. bought you the Taco Bell? Yeah. Nice. We like good. to treat our employees. You know. Hell yeah. Good stuff. That's we, uh, we have a series where we're getting the crew members out there and doing TF suits. TF shoots. This one with love. We, and of course, we went down to Taco Bell. Yes, sir. Which is his stomping ground. Yeah. Look at that, though. Looking fresh and fly Sheesh. in the Talking Bell parking lot. Look at that. This Look is a new things. shirt that's out right now. The pants. Is this yep. undershirt? Yeah, it's the fresh. Everything's the fresh. Let's go. Look at that chalupa. Hell yeah, yeah, that's a good you, chalupa. We got some little fries there. We got some little twisties. Instant the classic. Hot last free. But oh yeah, oh yeah, you know what's Hold up. Hold the phone. You got a burrito, two tacos, cinnamon Hold swirls, French fries, and a quesadilla. Yeah. Holy fuck, bro! Fun. You crush all that. You see. Whoa. It was a good time, though. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, I heard everyone had a really good time. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking that, that. That shirt on the last picture is one of my f- new favorite shirt. If you go back one. Oh, let me go back. It's like a sweater, I guess. It's oh, this one's sick. Yeah, yeah you look good in it, too. Thing. Yeah. I love this shirt. I've been wearing it a lot. But this yeah. this photo is iconic, dude. Talk about where is the endorsement right now. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Look, me this look at Fuck this. Up. Taco Bell never looks so good. Oh. Hitting that Diablo. Watch out, Diablo. Sheesh. And he here he is looking pensive in the uh, yeah. Taco yeah, Bell yeah. Uh, dining area. Yeah, just pondering on life in mm-hmm. the Taco Bell corner there. Is this before or after your meal? This is before. This so is before. you're waiting patiently. For your very order. patiently. I see. But very excited. I'm very excited there. There's also kind of a vibe to just sit and let your food digest in the Taco Bell yeah, dining for, area. Yeah, I mean, I stick around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And this is outside. It's outside when I got the food. There it is. Uh, we yeah. love love. Thank you, love, for doing yeah. that. Thank very you. Fun. Thank you. Very fun. <laughs> thank, you, thank, you, thank you. Thank you. You know, when Stavros was here on Wednesday? Yeah. We were talking about Joe Rogan. And he, um, I knew he would do this. And, and, I, and it's, he did the right thing to speak kindly of Joe because you know like comedians do have a camaraderie which I think is cool I think it's nice that they're not all trying to fucking kill each other like youtubers I don't participate in that culture by the way but actually they had a moment of disagreeance on the show that he did I think the day after or the weekend after in which uh, Joe was saying some really unhinged shit actually I was kind of surprised but Stavi baby friend of the show in the most, you know, respectful way possible, put his foot down and said, Joe Rogan, Joe, time Joe. to eat a salad and shut the fuck up, bro. Here he is, Stavi, baby. He, he did Joe the day before us. Oh, he did? Yeah, it was like, a, or it came out a day before came us. Came out a day. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Does, is it not live? No, not anymore. Huh. It hasn't been live in years. So he, that's interesting. So they can it a few days. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Mm. Joe used to be live. I mean, that's real shit. It used to be live. Although I think, I think it's been like five years since it's been live, though. He still I, does his UFC things live. Okay, okay. that yeah. makes sense because it's live. Yep. But I think Spotify probably put the kibosh on that. They need no, to it was pre-Spotify. It was yeah. when he was still on YouTube that he stopped. Mm-hmm. He used to live stream. Oh. And he, Did he say why he stopped? I forget what it was, but there was like a... I want to say there was like an incident. Something happened live. and that's... he. I, I don't remember what it was, though. Hmm. Well, find out if you let can. Let me try and refresh myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is before Stavros came on our show. Then that that gives interesting context. But here he is, Stavros first Rogan, the clash of titans. Did you see that video? There's a video that was going around today of uh, people in Chicago that are furious that the government is giving so much money to uh, all these immigrants that are, have illegally migrated into Chicago. No, I didn't see that. that they're giving them cell phone and 1200 yeah, yeah, bucks, yeah. whatever it is, and yeah. these people are fucking freaking out. Yeah. And you know, these people that were Democrats are like, yeah. hey, if Trump wants to talk to us, come talk to us. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're tired yeah, yeah, of this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wow, this, yeah. is, this is wild to see. And these people are waking up, like, why are you giving people that aren't even from here 
all this money and a free phone and all this shit. You're not giving anything to us. I, and that, I mean, yeah, that is fucked. It's, it's like fuck. I think this is a pretty those juicy. People just, now, actually, I'm I don't know the details of this, but something tells me it's greatly exaggerated, as these things always are. So Joe's claiming that in Chicago, illegal immigrants are getting hooked the fuck up. Is that true? I'll look into it right now. Curious. Yeah. It's, I feel like it's got to be exaggerated. Like the level of welfare they're getting. It always is. Like in San Francisco, they're making such a huge stink about the, um, the uh, what do they call it? Prevention where they ha- they pass out clean needles and shit. Harm reduction. Harm, Harm reduction. Thank you. They pass out like tin foil and crack pipes and syringes. I worked at one. You did for three summers. Yeah. Where? Homeless healthcare LA, just down the street. Oh my god, was yeah. that nuts? Um, I really, I really enjoyed it. I loved it. The characters was... were nice. Yeah. Huh. Mm-hmm. So like, people are. There's a lot of <gasps> movement to get it. What happened? Oh, there's a lot of movement to get these shut down as it's like this huge drain on social. But it, the budget of it in San Francisco is like 15 million, which I mean, for the municipal city of San Francisco is like nothing. Like, I wonder what's their city year uh, fiscal revenue. You know what I mean? It's got to be like a billion, maybe more. I don't know. San Francisco municipal municipal income yearly. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to look it up right now. Oh, it says, oh my God, hold on. I'm not going to read it. GDP of 670 billion in 2021. But that's not their, their income. Anyway, it's 15 million. It didn't seem like that significant to me, but go, go on, uh, Stavi. Should we restart the show again? Should we restart the show again? Two? Two? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's like, we're seeing this like, why aren't regular people getting that same shit? Why doesn't everybody just get that? Why are the fucking, Im- why is that person getting special treatment where it's like, we're just fucked? I mean, well, that's the same, again, the safety net They shit. shouldn't get it either. What they're doing is they're trying to buy votes. That's I what see, I think I they're see, doing. I see, I see. I try, they're trying to get rid of voter ID, and they're trying to bring people in, or well, allow those... people to get in, and make it easy for them to travel all around the country. And if, if someone, like, let you in the country, wouldn't you vote for them? But they can't vote, can they? Well, what if they can? It's a, I mean... But they're talking about... This is, Joe is really on some crazy fucking anti-immigrant shit. Yeah, so he goes, they're trying to buy votes. So I was like, they can't vote. Right. They're illegal But immigrants. what if they can? But what if they were? <laughs> it's like, but they're not. Like, we know uh, they're not. Right. I don't know where this idea comes that, like, there's just hordes of immigrants voting. I mean, we would know that. We, there would be a discrepancy. We would know that. Right? Yeah. There's just not f- votes floating around in the ether. They're all accounted for, as far as I know. Uh, Joe Rogan said in a Q&A that he stopped live streaming because he was losing money because he was getting constantly um, claimed or striked and he'd have to re-upload the video and lose all the views. So there you go. It's a good reason. You know, shit. Um, what's this article here? This, you, is, this is what he was uh, showing on the show with Stra- Stravos. New York City's non-citizen voting law is struck down. Mm-hmm. Supreme Court ju- Oh, so th- actually, yeah, and Stavros did a, a really good job of explaining this, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, which I'll continue to play, but yeah, Joe, Joe, I always get surprised by how, like, conservative-brained he's become. Um, this is just really crazy to takes. Yeah, Not yeah, having yeah. voter ID. But you have to, like, what do you think that, they were talking about it in New York, they were gonna so try to, to make it so that you weren't, a, if you weren't a citizen, you could still vote in New York. Interesting. That was something that was discussed, right? I don't know. Because my dad Google that thing vote. about New York. I think it was discussed, but I don't know that's it. Attempts to have people that were immigrants capable of voting in New York, whatever <laughs> you would search it under. But my dad I, straight can't vote, and he's been here, you know, 40 years or 50, yeah, 40 something. If they years. start changing things. Uh, well, has he tried hard enough? <laughs> has he stolen ballots from his neighbor? I mean, how do these people supposedly vote? How, how is this happening? How would you go about voting if you weren't? A f- how would you do that? Because you have to go to the voting poll, you check your name. No, no, no. There, 
I don't understand the pipeline. Look, why else would you want that many people to cross over? I would want those people to cross over if I was wanted one of two things. I wanted chaos or B, I wanted voters. Chaos? What are you, fucking the Joker? It, how about wanting to... Help people. Help people. You yeah, help give people idiot. asylum. Or give people, fuck. Fucking give us your poor, you're hungry, dude. It's written right on the goddamn statue. Jesus Christ. Bitch or ass. more cynically, uh, cheap labor to exploit. Cheap, I mean, sure. That, that's, that's also part of, a, of an economy. I mean, yeah, at the end of the time. day. <laughs> you know. Possibly so. <laughs> Excuse me. At the Joker Church. Actually, it's even become a problem, as I understand, in Florida, that they're, they don't have any or not enough low-income workers, and work is not getting done, like construction and agriculture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, So Joe thinks that the Democrat Party is run by Joker, who's trying to <laughs> sow chaos in New York City. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, bro. Uh, yeah. so, like, that's what, like, wild well, yeah, the homeless yeah, people? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same kind of but deal. But also, well, uh, here. Oh, yeah. Struck down. Okay, state Supreme Court uh, judge from Staten Island said, uh, click on it so I can read it. So, state Supreme Court judge from Staten Island said the measure which would have allowed more than 800,000 non-citizens to vote violated the state constitution. So, they're trying to pass this measure. Imagine Read the what would be the motivation? What would be the motivation of allowing people that <laughs> are illegal Chaos, aliens? Bro. Oh, they're per it's because we want to put poison in the food water and then get a microwave machine that that air uh, aerosols all the water with poison in it, and then we kill everybody in New York City. Wait, that was the plot to Batman: Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> or no, that was yeah. the Batman Begins. Batman Begins, yeah. yeah. Scarecrow. Sorry. Okay, Scarecrow is in charge of the Big NYPD. <laughs> Permanent legal vote. residents. Permanent legal residents. So they're basically like guys like my dad who. So these are just people that are not American citizens. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Somebody with their green. I mean, some people never. Like I said, I don't think my dad is ever going to become a citizen. Also, only applied to local. So okay. non-citizens. What's the technical term for a non-citizen? If you're not a citizen Bro, and you're here, how can you be talking was, so confidently about immigration and be so fucking ignorant? Jesus Christ. A legal resident. Yeah. Illegal no, resident. No, legal, legal, bro. Legal. Yeah. So do you have a green card? Yes. yes. Green card. Forever? Like, or is it, you it renew it expire? every 10 years? Age and residency requirements. Age and residency requirements. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, look, you could debate that, but it's not the same as illegal immigrants. Like it's like people, rent. it's basically people mm. that have been in that place and they don't want to become citizens. They right. could be able to vote for municipal elections, not national elections. But if you are a Democrat or if you're a Republican, let's yeah. see it on the other side. Imagine you're a Republican and you do this mm -hmm. and you say, we're going to let people who aren't even citizens vote. Who do you think those people are going to vote for? They're going to vote for the people that are allowing them to vote. Yeah. Just uh -huh. especially if you're not politically savvy. It's, now, it is kind of so he went from he went from they're trying to sow chaos <laughs> and win presidential votes right. to Okay, they can't vote for president. To okay, well, I mean, listen, if you were trying to give someone the right to vote, don't you think you'd support them? Yeah, maybe you should consider doing that. Yeah. Right. Maybe it's like, oh, women don't have the right to vote. These <laughs> these damn Democrats, they're trying to give women the right to vote they're, so that they're going to vote for them. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah, it, because they're giving them something that they want. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that's, that's how, how that like, works. when you do something good for a group of people, they want to <laughs> They like it you? and want to support you? That's yeah, nuts. it's wild. That's fucked up, actually. It's actually blackmail. That's actually, <laughs> yeah. that's actually fascism. That's political blackmail. Is when people vote. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> oh, this video is no longer available. What happened? The video we were just watching? Yeah. Yo. Mm. Wait, let funny, me refresh. I'm just re okay, it's here, so that was weird. Mm. Huh. Yeah, Reddit's acting a little funky. Too. Illegal no, resident. No, no, legal, legal. Legal. Yeah. So, do you have a green card? Yeah, green card. <laughs> Forever? Like, or is it, so. does it expire? Age, age and residency Why are you asking requirements. Sarbos? Age and residency requirements. Yeah, so it's like, I mean, look, you could debate that, but it's not the same as illegal immigrants. Like it's like people, rent. it's basically people mm. that have been in that place and they don't want to become citizens right. they could be able to vote for municipal it's, now it is kind of like the old it's like fucking tammany hall like in gangs in new york where it's like you vote like four times and right. they just bring the fucking <laughs> irish people off the boats and like put a shave your mustache and go vote again like that kind of shit yeah i'm sure there's a lot of that well that's the old yeah that's no, how there's it always not. Used to be. that's how they always there's not <laughs> yeah there's not there's <laughs> what's the evidence that there's old-timey people shaving mustaches and coming back 
walking around the block and coming back and voting again. Is there any evidence of this? <laughs> of, I mean, of, there, there, there's incidents, in, incidents like isolated, uh, isolated incidents of it happening. And usually uh, they're MAGA fucking freaks. They get arrested. In the last election, ironically, the one that they're claiming was stolen, uh, I think the majority of the prosecuted uh, voter fraud has been from people voting for Trump twice. Absolutely. So, oops. But even including that, it's isolated. It's not, it's a rare thing, bro. I'm sure that's what's happening, bro. They come right off the boat and we get them to vote. Off the boat, off the get, boat them to vote. get them to vote. Democrat party. And to yeah. what end? But, um, but the chaos. Chaos. <laughs> chaos, baby. They want to sow yeah. chaos in the city. Yeah. As you know, all human motivation that's a that's a baseline human characteristic to sow chaos. I fucking love doing crimes. Let's dude. do crimes. Let's do crimes the purge. together. We want the purge. We're voting for that. Dude, that movie was sick. Yo, I vote for the purge. Yo. Awesome. The thing is, it's like if you wanted <laughs> the laws on voting to be more lax and you wanted citizens yeah. that are here, but they're not legal they're not right you could believe that's but or not legal or not, yeah, that's yeah. next i don't think you'd be able to that's get next that's no, next. no what, what is, is it what are you doing <laughs> starburst is like no it's not illegals it's just um you know legal residents being able to vote for municipal he's like no but this is next <laughs> okay fine it's not that but this is next <laughs> it's a slippery slope and <laughs> bro is lit i literally me right i would be a person that would qualify for that a legal so you're immigrant. You're a legal resident. A you have res a green card, right? No, I don't have a green card. Oh, so oh, you're here on you a work visa, even. so you wouldn't be eligible for that. Damn, dumb. you'd have to have a. But you can get a green card, I think, in a couple of yeah, years. Yeah, in a couple of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we'll we'll stay on top of that for you to get you the greenie. <laughs> Thank you. Green, stay green, stay green, baby. Sheesh. How are you trying to get people to vote for someone who's not a citizen voting? Well, that's there, always been the thing. Like, you cannot vote if you're not a citizen. <laughs> there, I guess, just reading off that, right? I don't know anything right. else. That, to me, I don't know that I would have to think about it, but it's like what they're, what they're saying is, if you've been here a while, you're a legal resident, mm -hmm. you're part of this community, you pay right. taxes, you do all that stuff, you can vote in local municipal elections, you can't vote for fucking senator, you can't vote for fucking president, mm -hmm. you can vote for alderman, you can vote for fucking state house representative, because <laughs> they directly affect your... Thing, which is at least a reasonable argument as opposed to a non-citizen can have the full legal protection. Yeah. Actually, well done, Stavros. Uh, in a nice way. You know. Actually, and shout out to the Joe Rogan subreddit. This is his, I love when his own community shits on him. 22,000 upvotes. Jesus. Rogan tells Stavros that they're bringing in illegal immigrants and trying to change the law to give them the right to vote. Savos refutes Rogan's claim by reading the past article headline. Also says the immigrant father's been in America for four years and still can't vote. That's awesome. Oops. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. Yeah. So oh. shout out to Savvy, baby. I was uh, quite taken, though, by that claim because that, that's like really deep xenophobic right wing conspira conspiratoid shit. But he's there. He's down there. Also, Joe is like, he's like, isn't he like libertarian brain? Like, why, like, the people that live in a place, like, why shouldn't they be able to vote? Like, why, why does he have such a problem? They're stealing it! it! Just because, because they, right, because of the chaos that's being so. They, want, they just want to sell chaos. chaos these people bro. vote. It's like, what, what really is the hangout? They want to poison our that? drinking water. What don't you understand? Hmm. Yeah, I love Savi. Good guy. They turned the friggin' frogs gay. That's it. By and the way, uh, just to loop back to earlier, the uh, the Steamies uh, uh, poll is pinned in the chat now. So if you were looking for that, go ahead and click that and get your votes in. Rock okay. the vote, but not if you are not a U.S. citizen. Uh, right. We will we will actually hunt you down and take you out. Well, why? What's their motivation though? If they're Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't hear it, but, it. Yeah, but you didn't hear me. 
Oh, I'm always in favor I of the buttons. I think it was. So. I we did good. It Five was button. funny though. Yeah, I laughed. I mean, you were talking like Joe Rogan. Yeah. This is. Yeah, um, I think it was fine. I, okay. Anyway. You were in character. This is uh, AB's <laughs> grandpa when he first got to America. He sent this in the Discord. <laughs> He's yeah. on his way to the polling place. That's Salvros's dad, you say? No, uh, I said that was my grandpa. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that was my caption. Straight out dance. of Ellis Island, baby. I, I'm reading <laughs> AB's caption. Yeah. Don't come for me. That's awesome. My grandpa never came to America. Rip. Yeah, so uh, there it is. Um, what else we got? Okay, I know everybody is like so over Jimmy Lee. And this is a short mention, so don't turn off. Okay. Um, he recently did that Steve-O post, which was not met with a lot of fanfare, where it was him Always. saying, me getting Steve-O hooked on pills again, uh, and breaking his, like, 20-year sobriety. Something really not funny at all. And we chewed him out for it, right? Mm -hmm. And so the next day, this is what he posts on Instagram, I guess. Um, oh shit, it got removed? Oh no, here it is. Here it is. I don't know why it got removed. Don't push. Um, it is pretty mean, I guess, but uh, while well, I'm showing it on the show, coercing hot dog brain to relapse. Here's, I mean, that's nuts. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't stop coercing people, sad face. Comedy, comedy, memes. Hey, Big Mike, he tagged him. I've never messaged Jimmy. Out of nowhere, I messaged him. You have to take that down. You did. Yeah, that was a, that was smart. But like we, all of us at the same time were texting him. Well, I didn't text him. I left a comment on it though. Yeah. So you left one on Steve Stevo's. You left another one on this one. No, it was on this one. Oh, about <laughs> how if I said what I want to say, I would get banned. <laughs> I said, uh, what if, what I is said it you if I to say, say what I want to say, I'll be banned from this app, so have a nice day, Jim. So what is it you wanted to tell him to do? Damn. That's cold. <laughs> to, uh, what would he do in Minecraft? <laughs> tell me in Minecraft. Go fuck up, you thought. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. I think Mason really is the master troll here, because Mason's a fan of the show. He understands. He has a normal work-functioning brain. Uh, well, it's meme brain for sure, but Mason, I don't know if he's, is he, is he trying to ruin Jimmy? I don't know. <laughs> is he the puppet he's, master? Yeah, I don't know. He's sabotaging him. <laughs> well, Jimmy, well, you should explain what, what Jimmy said in response. To all so that. I messaged him actually, well, I DM'd him. Um, he did erase it. Although only at my insistence, apparently <laughs> he says, let's see. So this is, he messaged me. He said, Ethan, I want to ask you, want to be the co-host for the live show next week? I could come out last minute and think this would be a cool vibe. So he wants to co-host the show. Uh, this was sent on Friday. What a humble offer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I said, Jimmy, why do you keep posting relapse jokes? It's not funny and people are getting upset. That was my response. He said, should I remove? It's not Steve-O, it's Mike Malak. <laughs> he knew his name. I couldn't believe that was his response. That just proves that he had, he didn't even understand why people were mad. Mm -hmm. He just thought it, they were mad because he was making fun of Steve-O, I guess? And it's like, okay, so I got rid of Steve-O. I replaced it with another person. It's like, that's not why people were no, mad. No, he's got to know. The man's a doctor. Well, I, I mean, oh, no. I, I texted him about the Steve-O thing privately. I didn't tell any of you guys this. I said, this one pushes a little too far for me, Jim. And he's re responded with, uh, I realize, I'm sorry, I took it down. I honestly didn't look. My fault. I just, I just took it down. Next time I know. So and then the next, next time, day, yeah. he posts the same fucking mm -hmm. meme about Mike Malak. <laughs> he says it's not about Steve. It's about Mike Malak. Question, question, question mark. So next time he didn't know. And then he says, "Can I come out and co-host at the live show?" <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! It will be the bomb, and That's I'll have a perfect hairline. I said, Jim, you cannot host the live show. Okay, I was hoping. <laughs> I understand. And I said, are you okay, buddy? Because I, I mean, I. Then he, uh, then he texted me. I'm worried about him. I'll see you next week. I'm co-hosting the live show. <laughs> he told you that? Oh, brother. He said, uh, hanging in there. Anyway, this post is about Ma Mike Malak, just so you know. As if I thought it was about Steve-O. 
He says, I did take the post down. I'm sorry. There you go. So, interesting, uh, interesting thought process there by Jimmy, the Jersey outlaw. He is dangerously funny. Mm-hmm. He's dangerously something. Yeah. It's old timey. Hey, I stand outside of, uh, AA meetings and hand out drinks. It's an old timey joke, you understand? Shoot the son of a bitch. You ever camp out inside a rehab facility and pass out Oxycontin? Hey! It's just a good old old timey kind of thing. All right. That's right. Thank you, Jimmy. An interesting tale nonetheless. Um, I saw this. You're going to have to tell me if this is real or not. A class system based on eye color. I believe this came from India. I saw it on I Hate Everything. Or today, what is it? It's today, still real to me, damn it! <laughs> today, I hate this. Today, what does it stand for? Thanks, I hate it. Yeah. Check this out. Eye color caste system. And this immediately, immediately made me think of Jay Shetty. Because him and his wife have the same color eyes. So, like, they're straight up doing class warfare. Like, they are doing class, caste system warfare. What's your argument? Look at this. Would you say that this is kind of, like, similar to his eye color? Yeah. That's him, right? Mm-hmm. Men destined to define eras and change history. That's not his eye color. Bring it, well, pull, let's see, pull him up. He's like on the third row, I'd say. A30. I don't that's know. That's a Shetty eye. Mm. Hold on, let's see. <laughs> oh, I know those eyes anywhere. Trust me, that's A30. That's Shetty. Uh, nah, bro, you're fucking coping. And look, influential artist and writer. You're coping, brother. Mm. Have you ever seen eyes like that no, in your see, life? No, see, because he's got hazel. This There's is a little Alexander the there. Great, bro. This is Genghis Khan. He's going to change the world. Nah. He's at the top of that pyramid. Nah, he's at A30. If not him, then who? Maybe A20, maybe. I think he might be A5. Where's like A5? He, it's above. It's above the top. He's you A1. think he's, he's God? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's, he's just A. actually God. He is the A. <laughs> I think what is this insanity, if though? If I'm being frank, I think he's A10. I think so, too. Man destined to find... And then show me his wife, too, because I want to see where she fits in. Men mm. destined to find eras and change history who will be remembered for millennia to come. That's Jay Shetty. We will be talking about Jay Shetty in thousands of years. No People question about it. People are saying D60 for him. Where's D60? D60? No. Get out of here. Get out of here. Why would you? First of all, I hate Jay Shetty, and that's disrespectful. <laughs> you know, Jay Shetty, he made an appearance in the press last week. He officiated Vanessa Hudgens' wedding. Oh, oh come on. What I know. That a lot. Vanessa Hudgens is the, the like lead from all the high school musicals. He's been officiating a lot of weddings. Yeah. Why the fuck are people? Why do who? Why do people care about Jay Shetty? Why wouldn't they? When? He's so good. Hey Jay, can you officiate my wedding? Bitch, he left me on red. I didn't ask him to fly out to my wedding and do it. I just wanted him to say, you know, hey, sorry about your eye color. Condolences for being a fucking plebeian <laughs> scumbag, brown-eyed. I'm, this is this is him apologizing to you. Yeah, I see. Sorry about that. So, yeah, what is the story? And then here, look at his wife. This is why I'm saying, like, there's definitely some weird... His uh, wives are more green. Yeah, she's they in, are more She's green. in that D row. Yeah, you're say. right. She's D37, kind of, but, perhaps? So he, he's dating down. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> she's very pretty, but the eye color is not where it needs to be. Men not- destined to define eras and change history. That's... <coughs> What the, f- who made this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Someone with those color eyes. So here, where do, what do you guys think? Well, the kick- Oh, there you go, yeah. Well, hold on. Before we do that, grab this other one of him with his wife. Because this one is also very um, uh, illuminating. Okay. If you can put his wife and his eye colors in this picture of them together, then I feel we can really crunch the numbers here. All right, let me crunch the numbers real quick. In my eyes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, what is this like Nazi shit though? <laughs> yeah, I know. Jay yeah. Shetty. I know. I'm looking at this photo. I'm saying, what is this Nazi shit? <laughs> no, not Jay. How no, dare not you? Not Jay Shetty. Okay. How dare you? I'm actually. Would, can you anyone find out the origin of this? I'm quite interested. Very anti-Semitic. My there's blue-eyed yeah. Jews. 
Ela has does Ela have blue eyes? Yes. <laughs> yeah. My dad has blue eyes. There's blue eyed Jews, Zach. But not as many. Probably as like <laughs> Irish people or some shit, but this sweet is a sweet racist. <laughs> it's so bad. I like that you can call anything anti Semitic though. That is a fun thing. Um, where would I be, do you think? Uh well you have dark brown eyes, so you you're down you're the an You think I'm on the bottom? This. I think I'm be on this row, don't know. Mm, no. I'm a manual labor, bro. I'm not untouchable. <laughs> I'm like here, maybe. Peasants. I'm here. But so pull up my eyes. We, we got it. Hold on, we got it. <laughs> you got to do one with my eyes in two now, Cam. Yeah. So the different uh, tiers are destined to change the world, like I guess Jesus or like uh, um, Athene from the Greek mythology or something. Athena. What's the guy's name who uh, uh, Brad Pitt played in Troy? Oh, Achilles. Oh, Achilles. Achilles. Yeah, Achilles. Yeah. Just like Jay Shetty. Philosopher, <laughs> king, explorer, inventor. Explorers? That's mm -hmm. sick. I want to be an explorer. Do I qualify? I don't know. We'll have to get your eye color up on here. Mm. Influential artists, writers, and generals. Officers, officials, diplomats. <laughs> what is that? Middle management, soldiers, craftsmen. <sighs> Manual oh, yeah, laborers, yeah, yeah. peasants, street merchants, and even below that is... Oh, I guess I thought it was Indian or Hindu because of the untouchable on the bottom, which is a Hindu caste thing. Sanitation workers, street sweepers. That's not... Alright, Cam, you got me? Here we go. Oh, interesting. Uh, one of our mods sent me the Know Your Meme page on this, which knows the origin. I guess this was from a catalog for ordering dolls. That's why they're all numbered like that. <coughs> so you could order oh, a doll with that, what? with whatever eye color you want. Oh, that's, cool. that's cool. Um, but then they took that chart and turned it into this fucking mm. racist screed. Area. All right, so let's let's be real here. Jay Shetty's eyes is either he's off the charts, bro. There ain't nothing like him. That's what I, I think. Maybe this one is kind of similar, but it's lighter. I think bottom row, third from the right, is closest. This that one, yeah. It's not. See, his has more blue in it. His, he's just—he's an enigma. You can't encapsulate Jay Shetty. This picture doesn't make give his the blue collar in his eye justice. So wait, it's for dolls. So what? You're gonna get yourself an untouchable sweet s street sweeper doll? <laughs> they added that after. Uh, well, I, I don't believe they were labeled that way in the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That was a later edition. He's he's either this one or he's God tier ascended. I think he's off the charts, bro. Yeah, I and think his, he's a. I mean, even his wife is kind of. His wife could be here actually. Off Which, the charts. God, what a gorgeous couple, though. Stunning, Jeez. really stunning. My God. See him in but Gap. I go to the mall. I see him hearts. in fucking Gap. I go on TikTok. I see him officiating weddings. I go on. I go on fucking. <laughs> I go. I get a nominated for award. I lose to him. Jay Shetty, get out of my life, man. <laughs> He's in car ads. I turn on the TV. He's in a fucking Lincoln ad or some shit. BMW, your car. BMW. He's driving my car. <laughs> yeah. He was in a BMW ad driving my literal car. And it was advertised <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> The price didn't have your whole family. You're gonna, come, yeah, too, you're gonna come home one day and he's just gonna be playing with Theodore. Like yeah. he's just he's the dad now. <laughs> he's taking over your can, whole life. He's gonna hand me a sweet street uh, a street broom. <laughs> Tell me to get sweet. Man, you get, get scrubbing. Brown eyed. <laughs> oh god. No, he is no. so detestable. He is such a scumbag. <laughs> no, no, he's not. So wonderful. The beautiful, beautiful, bright shining you don't know star him like of a human I know being. Him. You don't no. know him. I was in the same room as him once. I shook his so hand. I, feel like I, I stood next know. to him. I took a photo with him. I felt dark aura. I felt dark energy. Yep. You didn't, you didn't feel it because you didn't get close to me, but I was feeling electricity through my body, hmm. like danger. I was getting. Why'd you give him a hug and shake his hand and smile then? It was only after. Oh. There was a a discomfort, a disease that crept over my body as I looked him in the eyes and shook his hand. I felt that. Sinister, dark energy. Mm -hmm. Something really off about him. Mm. Are we sure it wasn't envy that we were feeling? I think, what? <laughs> see, I think that's the thing is that Jay soul is so pure and untarnished that looking at him 
it's like looking into a mirror. And so it kind of reflects whatever energy you're bringing okay, to it. Okay, whatever. So all it, that discomfort. Isn't that what... Um, the Ghost Rider? Isn't that what... What's his name? The fucking... Uh, the Live Forever guy said to me on Friday. <laughs> About his soul He's like, being untarnished? Well, no, he goes, <laughs> you asking me if I'm afraid of death is really a reflection of your own beliefs. Oh. I was like, bro, you're the one that's dedicating your whole life to living forever. <laughs> don't do, don't, that shit don't work. It's just a fancy way Can't of saying I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> oh, I am rubber, and you are glue. Yeah. Um, compilation of Ethan not hearing AB. Thank you for putting this together, guys. We can really crunch the numbers. Four pills of mine, so. Let me pull this up, eh? Let's see. <laughs> You know, we gotta start vlogging that shit. Say what? Yes, fingers, we're protecting the king. Feet, You're the one going full a little foot. What, AB? I said it's like chess. Yeah. What are the chances the button screen was the bull? What's his name? Brad. Brad, Brad the bull. Yeah. He, he was the be right back button. <laughs> what button? The I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm presented with the two roads. One where I just pretend like I heard him and move on. Which I feel like is the disrespectful road. <laughs> I think the more respectful road is to say, A, B had something valuable to say, and I want to hear him clarify. Now, if I heard as clear as you guys watching the podcast, I understand everything he's saying here. Mm -hmm. Bro, I, can you guys move this so his face isn't, like, covered? Like, well, I can't even see him. How am I supposed to read his list? This problem started way before the seating arrangement. Mm -hmm. Like years before. Have He's you considered speech therapy, A.B.? <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's on, on me. I don't know. Maybe I, I, I'm speaking too fast. Huh? What? <laughs> what? And then it gets me in my head because then I'm thinking about what I'm saying. And I'm like, how is he going to misunderstand this? And then I start fucking stuttering. And then it just gets worse. And it's this whole cycle. Jesus, of, man. Yeah. Well, I understand everything you're saying here. Hey, for Sam. What, A.B.? Uh, I saw a post on the subreddit. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh, Wait, what are you? What are you saying? Oh, when we play the tape, we're coming from the thing. What? What I mean? Seems to be a comment night. I'm. I'm actually. I feel better now. I feel better already. All right. Good. good. Next. For, uh, well, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Didn't you uh, cover passports when you met her? I understand every word. Did People I what? Saying I Ethan really, literally needs headphones, please. No, I'm not. Six going years to do it. now. I have a solution. Nice try Six shot. years. I refuse. I have a solution. I'm just gonna shoot you with this. <laughs> with when a I, needler, when I dude. Talk, I'm gonna shoot you with this needler. Look at how fucking cool that thing is, by the way. I know. I just want to. What does it shoot? A Nerf. It's a Nerf, Nerf gun. Shoot me one, dude. That's sick. It lights yeah, up. Well, it's powerful. Yeah. I don't wanna. Well, shoot it up. I'll see. Oh shit! Oh, oh god! Oh, my god! <laughs> Got some gumption. Yo, yeah, that yeah. needler is sick. Don't bro. don't hit him with too many. So when I want when I want to say something. Just, just, just shoot him. We gotta right. go. Sure, that'll be good. He's like, "What'd you say?" Thank you. What? Huh? Cover? Uh, cover passports? Say, like saying a cover of it is what he's saying. You sing her the passport. You brought her back to America. I don't understand the words that you're saying. <laughs> I'm trying. Say it again. I love this one. Game, I was you trying to alley oop you. I was trying to alley oop you to sing passport. Bro, I don't can't hear you. I'd take the alley if I could hear you. Is his voice just in a certain frequency range that you you have like hearing loss in that frequency range? I think there I think that he's when he's talking into the mic for the audience, they can hear him quite clearly. He's sitting a little bit further from me, his face is obstructed, and he he mumbles a little bit. Sometimes I'd say sometimes he's a little about half of these clips I don't I wouldn't understand on the fly. Oh, thank you, I, love. Being completely honest, I'm not. Love has <laughs> always got my. Back. All right, all right, and that might be because maybe my English isn't that good. But some, I have your to... English is flawless, bro. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not that. Yeah. <laughs> it's AB. I don't know. What's you know, that? He's probably on the gem. What's that? Women's in, women in gem. gem. <laughs> what did he even say? They're women in gems. Are That's you... hilarious. Everyone else got it. He was but... making a joke instead of women in STEM. Women in gem. Oh yeah, that one didn't make much sense to me. <laughs> I was just He's like, what are these the random gym? words I'm hearing? You say like popsicle, <laughs> popsicle lemon. Try and phone him right now. What's that? He's probably on the gym. Smith. Women's in women in gym. gym. Women, women, women in, in gym. gym. Nice. Thank Go you. happy, Dennis. I didn't hear you, AB. <laughs> <laughs> Did we read the caption of the original? Post? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? God, he is really such a vile little creep. 
Is that photoshopped or is this real? I can't tell. Wait, no, you're on his page. Have the Reddit post. Oh, he said, posted uh, that. He right, really. What is it? The... Oh, wait, it's playing. Thanks, AB. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he is such a vile little creep. That Kirk, Charlie post Kirk. Have the Reddit post. It said just to uh, make sure I wasn't talking about AB. Right. It's like that vile little creep, AB. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, he's the best. Very handsome. Not vile. What's the opposite of vile? The Tasty. opposite of vile? Appealing. Uh, holy? Yeah, appealing. Probably. Antonym of vile. It'd be like uh, angelic? Pleasant. It's just pleasant. pleasant. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, AB, it's not personal. I really try to hear you. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'll say Ian from now on. I'll give Ian a cue, he'll switch to me, and then I'll slowly talk to the camera. That'll be we'll good for the helps. show. That'll be really good. <laughs> Dan, I don't, when did you start dating Taylor Swift, dude? dude. Whoa, I thought you were in a relationship. Oh, What's this? Fuck. People I'm love busted, this post. Busted, bro. Got 3,000 points. They're really riding I'm for this. Busted, one. bro. The dude, you're busted. Does Allie know about this, bro? Read the top comment. Literally, why would he do this to his girlfriend, Allie, who uses stamps.com? <laughs> <laughs> so true, legend. So true. So, so true. She does? Yeah, they also send her a digital scale. You're goddamn right. And guess who sponsored today's episode? And probably who I should Good do right segue, now. Good segue, actually. It's time. Speaking of which, stamps.com is our sponsor today. <laughs> we love stamps.com. Isn't that right, folks? We sure do. I'll tell you who else loves stamps. Pro not T Swift. Do you think she sends her own mail? Hell no. She's too busy. She's too good. She's too. She's got a lot going on. I bet you people on she her team. She is too good to send her own mail. I, I. She's probably got people for that, but those people probably do use stamps.com. True. This is not a factual statement. Her, I'm purely speculating. Her untouchable, brown-eyed uh, staff does the mailing for her. Okay. Using out of context, that sounds pretty bad. Maybe not. No. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We'll take it back. It's taken back. <laughs> um, guys, stamps.com. It's the holiday season. It's time to treat yourself. If you are a mailer, if you use the mail, if you're a small business, a large business, or just for personal, if you're not using stamps.com, what are you doing? Because the post office is just not it. Going there, it's a ha especially around the holidays. It's, oh, it's so dude, busy it's, right it's now. so nuts. The parking lot, the lines, the waiting, the weirdos. Let's be real. There's always characters at the post office for one reason or another. It's true. You know. But you avoid all that with stamps.com plus even better um, benefits. Uh, one of the benefits being massive discounts. Because of the size of stamps.com and they serve over 1 million businesses over the last 25 years. They get to negotiate fat discounts, huge carrier discounts, 84% off USPS and UPS rates. What? 84% off. Yeah, that's what I said. Up to 84% off USPS. Whoa, 84? PS. Yeah. Hold on. If, if you're going to the post office and just mailing it, you do not have access to that kind of discount. That's yeah. everything. Also, uh, they will send you a free scale. So basically how it works is on your computer, you weigh the package, you print the postage, you put it on the package, the envelope, the letter, whatever. Then you can leave it at your doorstep for a pickup. Bob's your uncle in that case. Uh -huh. Or you can drop it off at a, any drop box all, all located all over the city. You can go drop it at the post office. You can do whatever you want. But the thing is, you got the option and you have the convenience. It's cheaper. It's more convenient. What else can I tell you about it? I mean, geez Louise, man. I and, know and somebody who uses stamps.com. Dan's girlfriend loves stamps.com. Oh, I wasn't going to say that, but yeah, actually, she does. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, who do you know that uses stamps.com? Uh, we could just talk about that now that you've brought it up. Allie? Yeah. Mm hmm. She uses stamps.com every day. Just yesterday, she was, the holidays are coming up, and she's got a ton of orders, and she was going nuts on the stamps.com. <laughs> can you imagine that 84%. If you went to the post office? Huh? Can you imagine if she went to the post office and handled that? You wouldn't see her all day. She'd be gone. She'd be, She'd be gone. I have to start dating Taylor Swift or something. And like, <laughs> when's she going to draw? She's spending all of her time at the mail. Right. Post office. You so know? true. 
Anyway, I love Stamps.com. I really do. They're a great company and a great supporter of our show. Sign up at Stamps.com slash H3TV for a special offer that includes four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. There's no long-term commitments or contracts. That's right. Go to Stamps.com slash H3TV. Thank you so much to Stamps, a wonderful uh, supporter of ours. Please support them if you're in the business of mailing stuff. Thank you, thank you to Stamps.com. All right. Ooh, they're killing it over there, huh? <clears throat> yeah. All right. What a segue, huh? What a segue. What a segue. Um, a 25-month member just sent a thing and said, I got fired today for the first time in my life. With peace and love, I'm lost. That sucks. I hope that sucks a whole lot, Stephanie. That does suck. Fuck. Sorry. I always I have like a phobia of being fired. I was never was I ever fired. I feel like whenever I was about to get fired, I quit because I didn't want to. <laughs> you pay. felt it coming. Yeah. I I got fired. I think just once that I can think of, and it was because I think I've told the story on the show before, but I broke like a twenty thousand dollar light on a film set once. And it was my first day. <laughs> Holy and, shit. Uh, yeah. What kind of light was it? 20,000? It was a, um, what do they call it? It's like an arc light type of thing. HMI, I believe it, what they're called. How'd they're you very break expensive. it? Uh, it was like, I was setting it up on a stand and something fell off of it. Uh, one of the lenses. And I like panicked and went to like catch that. And I did catch it. But in the process, the stand wasn't stable and it fell over and the entire... So I saved the lens, I broke the entire light. Which they, is more valuable. They fired me about an hour later. So uh, the light was definitely more valuable. Than the lens. <laughs> well, you know, it's like it's already broken. What's, what's firing you going to do? I mean, the chances that it happens again after that... I mean, I think it was just on top... Like, uh, this was literally like... It was my first day and it was like two hours into being there. And they're like... All right, this dude's been here for two hours, and he just cost production twenty grand. <laughs> Let's get somebody else. Which and did you fair, tell him? And did fair. you go back and pick up your pay for the two hours? I did get paid for that. No, okay. actually, they let me finish the day. They let me finish the day. They oh, fired me good. at the end of the day. That's good. Yeah, probably just because they needed somebody and couldn't find somebody. To was that day me. super awkward on set for you? Yeah, it really sucked. It was when I was like, this was like a year or two after I got out of school, and I was so broke. So I really needed the gig, and so it was very upsetting at the time. But now I can look back at it and laugh. Now we love it. Yeah. Fuck that light. Fuck <laughs> it. Well, I'm very sorry you've been fired. They, you're too good for them. They suck. Look at it as an opportunity. I think Switch it's a it decent up. economy, though. Hopefully you'll be able to find something better, huh? I don't know what your job, your profession is, or the vertical, but it seems like the economy is doing decently at the moment, right? Uh, her wages are going up like right now, to be honest, it, it was good a year or two ago. Um, it was a really tight job market, but that was a while ago now. I don't know what it's like right now. <laughs> I heard on the news that, the um, wages are still outpacing inflation, which is kind of crazy. That doesn't even with happen. them cranking the interest rates like they've been doing. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh boy, big news. What is this? As of November 23, the average annual salary in California is 61,000. That actually went up a lot from when I I remember 61,000? Used, used to be like 50. I mean, that's California though. I don't know what the national average is. It used to be a lot less than that. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Shit goes down. California ranks 9 out of 63 states for salaries. Well, it is super fucking expensive here, so What Yum. who's making the most money? New York? San Francisco or well no that's California highest average I bet it's gonna be a relatively small state I bet you like Delaware or something if I had to get Delaware Massachusetts has, Massachusetts that's a good board on Monopoly those are good properties makes sense what I mean that's just a quick Google search though no, oh nice. is that is Delaware Street like a thing in Monopoly <laughs> it's the green part man it's like Pennsylvania Avenue okay it's been a long then wait till you look at me. There's <laughs> entertainer saying I'm sorry. All right, thank you. Should we talk about this Seaman bananas shenanigans that's been happening? It's absolutely mad. Sure. Seaman, uh, as you guys all know. Did you say 63 states? Why is huh. everybody in the chat's like 63 states? 63,000. 
is the mean uh, average income in California. You must have just misspoke or something because I just seen no, 63 what I, what states. I sent, what I sent him from the Google search said 63 states. I don't know what it's oh, you said 63 Wait, states. <laughs> we have 63 states? <laughs> that Damn, that's news to me, dude. <laughs> what, it, what did it what say, baby? It's in the chat still. Nine out of 63 states for salaries on Zip Recruiter. Does that include what? like Canada? They're, ca yeah. they're counting all the provinces of Canada. Yeah, as part Canada, of the United States. Fuck Mexico. It, that's just part of, the, that's District, part of the United Columbia. States now. <coughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, so Seaman's been <clears throat> somewhat unhinged since our last <clears throat> show. He's been on the internet um, saying that I sexually harassed him, which is a lot. I mean, that's a big that's a big thing to say. And so on the on the heels of that, I want to defend myself a little bit against the very credible accusations of Seaman. The guy who jerks off in public and comes on the floor of grocery stores because <laughs> he's looking at people's feet. And he's so turned on, he jizzes on the floor of the grocery store. He in did, fact, did saying say this that. makes me realize we probably should have stopped talking to him a while ago. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you know, the guy who says he goes out in public and jerks off to people without their permission, looking at their feet. Um, I should have, hearing that, I feel like this is all my fault. There's something when wrong. I hear it come out of my mouth. Fair. Um, because, uh, you know, all that. But anyway, uh, let's see. Here is an album of the comments he's been leaving. Let's take a look. He's all over Reddit and YouTube comments. Let's see. Oh, brother. Also, he's been emailing you a lot too, right, Dan? <laughs> well, I just noticed uh, this morning <coughs> that he had he had sent several emails this weekend, uh, <laughs> demanding asking, to come back on the to show, call back into the show. Which, like, isn't that unusual for him? He emails me all the time asking to come on the show. He came on the show last time because he emailed me saying that he had a funny <laughs> dildo story that he wanted to. He talk had a about. funny dildo story, and you guys want to know what the story was? That he bought his friend a dildo and used it before he gifted it to him. Right. That was the story he told us. Well, it was that uh, it had instructions, right? Or did, <laughs> and he found it amusing that it had instructions. So he put it in his mouth. Right. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, uh, let's see. He says that it's weird. It's odd for a straight man to be fixated on my penis. I mean, okay. Again, he's the one that calls in to share his sex paid stories. This was a post on, like, this snark subreddit, which is psychotically obsessed. They've been encouraging him. C-Man leaves comment on Reddit saying he did not want to share his nudes with Ethan, and he was put off by him asking. I was honestly more uncomfortable about them asking, oh, this is just a, a freak on that subreddit. Uh, here he is. No means no, making it sound like I sexually harassed C-Man. I did not want to and was a bit put off on that. When I come on, there will be no more talk of my personal assets. Um, okay, <clears throat> let me just pull up a timestamp here because I felt like I'm living in crazy town. Well, I think what I think should happen. Here Go. is the first time the subject of him showing us his penis came up. Uh, C-Man should get the most <laughs> torqued picture of his cock possible. You should get yourself, you should do a little meditation. You should get your dick as hard as possible. Should I whip it out now? I can yes, it yes, out now yes, yes show us. Let's not... I did not ask. In fact, it was volunteered, and may I even uh, describe it as enthusiastically volunteered mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you want to talk about anyone being sexually uh, harassed, this man started jerking off without, you know what I mean? Like, I, I said I want to see his dick. I didn't say I wanted to see him jerk off. So who's the sexual deviant? I mean, you know what I'm saying? These people are so desperate to describe it like I'm fucking sexually harassed him at it. It's, 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 it's really upsetting. It's not a wreck. It's not a wreck. Oh God! Yes. This is happening. <laughs> oh my God! His pants are already off. <laughs> Wait, how did you get your... as you can see, my coercion is uh, in full display. The man's—I think he broke the record for this dick out, uh, pants down uh, world record. Pants off so fast. <laughs> Let's not go. You're not in frame. You're not in frame, <laughs> Seaman. Somebody in the chat asked, "Is male foot lover one Seaman?" Yeah. Yeah. That is Seaman. Yeah, that's Seaman. What gave him away? <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we love C-Man, though. Well, listen, I, I accepted him for who he was. It's just this whole weird arc of him trying to make it seem like I'm a sex, sexually harassed him is nuts. So yeah. I'm just trying to put things in perspective a little bit. I mean, dude, you jerked off. I didn't ask for that. Not the same thing, bro. Not a I didn't get a good look. I'm trying to find that I didn't one. get a good night. Go down a bit. Oh, okay. Here. That's a, you know, I think that's going to get jerk pretty jerk. big. <laughs> Okay. Don't jerk off. <laughs> oh my yeah, he started to jerk off because he was insecure about the size of it. You know, he was trying to get torqued. I know what why he was doing it. Still, There's something wrong with. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't sign up for watching the man jerk off. <laughs> you know, it was a big uh, difference. In retrospect, probably should have expected that, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I wasn't mad about it, and I'm not. Right. It's just the context of all this whole ass fucking thing. Oh. You know, I know what I'm getting myself into when I bring C-Man on. Um, let's see. He says, I did not want to, and I was put off. Really? Okay. No means no. <laughs> oh, yeah. All this stuff will age like milk. Ethan will pay the piper. Is this his comment? This is his comment? Uh, no, no, he's he's responding to this comment. Oh, 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 shit! This is unhinged. <laughs> oh yeah, all this stuff will age like milk. Ethan will pay the piper for it eventually, and I wish he'd realize that and start treating people with a bit more dignity. It's cool to be curious and interested and ask questions. It's another thing entirely to doggedly interrogate someone about the size of their genitals, no matter how many times they try to dodge the question, change the subject, and then C Man responded, "He will get what's coming to him." <laughs> what the what the fuck, oh. man? What You're, does that mean? I don't know, but like you were begging us to call in to share your dildo story, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? He says, yes, you're right. Thanks. It's odd for a straight married man to be fixated on my penis. Okay. All right. I'm not fit. I'm more fixated on the fact that you've been lying about your penis size, which is funny. I just find it funny. I mean, <laughs> but okay, sure. I guess it's weird. Sure. Where's that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, he just keeps saying, he's just, yes, you are right. It's odd for a straight man to be fixated on my penis. I'll go back on. I need to get something off my chest that Ethan annoyed me with. Mm. He says, I'm fighting to help our gay community. I'm fighting for the gays, C Man says. That's a valuable, uh, and a, a valiant fight. No, I'm aware of everything. I'm trying to make it big. In Hollywood, so I will be tough and strong. I don't get offended, but I always fight to stay alive and tough. Okay, well, I wish you luck in Hollywood, man. Yeah. Um, I can't help but feel that this was all encouraged and enabled by these fucking weirdos on uh, the snark subreddit. Which, by the way, <coughs> excuse me, um, <coughs> is incredible to me. I don't, I never want to acknowledge this stuff, but it is pretty incredible that on this snark subreddit, these people are so fucking sickly fucking obsessed with all of us. They've literally done harassment, doxing campaigns against all of us. The weirdest thing about this snark shit is we had a mod who reported, I think, two of their posts. One for like doxing. One for exposing uh, personal information, one for harassing and citing hate. And he got banned. His account got banned for misusing the report system. But here's the kind of post that's on this website. Fallen fans attending live. Here they're organizing to harass us in real life. It would be epic if you planned a direct action in support of Palestine. It, would be, it, would, it could be starting a chant in the theater, holding signs or banners, wearing your... Kefias? I'm assuming it's like the scarf. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's alive and you have tickets. Your disruption would be seen by all of us getting kicked out would be iconic. In my opinion, truthfully, if I didn't live where I live and got tickets for the live show, I would be getting kicked out. Well, make it happen if you're that. If you really care, you would make it happen. I don't want excuses from you. I am A-OK -okay for being hated, for being passionate. But then they say, if y'all want to coordinate, organize, I recommend starting a signal chat and taking it off Reddit. I'm happy to help afar. So here they are organizing to harass us in real life on Reddit. I don't think that's got to end, but like we get, we get banned uh, when we 
when we talk about it. I don't know what's the comments. Uh, there were some good comments in this thread. Here's another one of them saying <clears throat> they want to organize to harass Ela's mom, who's fled your, uh, who's left Israel. She's a recent widow. Her husband died recently. She's living in a house by herself. And she's been terrified to be at home by herself with constant rocket fire and feeling like trauma, traumatized from what happened on October 7th, unable to sleep and just really doing poorly. So these guys thought it would be cool to, and this post is still up on their subreddit, uh, organized to harass Ela's mom, who I guess Ela said she'd be at the show. Not you, not Ela trying to manipulate the audience to speak up at the live show because her mother will be there. I don't know what the fuck. That's like some weird. That's almost like schizophrenic. Schizo. Like, like the way that they interpret like Ela's talking to them. Yep. That's like the TV's talking to me type of shit. <laughs> you know, like it really is. I don't even remember what Ela said. Probably just that her mom will be there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so then, they go, an even better reason to speak up at the live show. Uh, truly the only pro-Palestine people to be afraid of whenever Palestines and their supporters show up. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I I don't know why you want to protest my show pre-Palestine. I'm with you, brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? Like, why are you targeting my show for that purpose? I'm, I, I'm, I'm wearing a pro-Palestine <laughs> bracelet right now. Here, I'm, I'm protesting right now. Mm -hmm, you, yes. There you go. You snuck it in, bro. Uh, hey! <laughs> hey, you stuck that in. <laughs> Get that out of here. Um, I do. I would like to ask one of these people if they come, why are you protesting my show? I'd like to know. Because I don't remember one anti-Palestinian thing I've ever said in my life. Ever. I love how, uh, let's see. I love how, uh, yes, uh, my favorite was all the losers on the maid sub acting like it would be a horrible crime. Someone said free Palestine at the live show. It's not that. It's that you're organizing to fucking harass us in real life. That's fucking weird and creepy. By yelling things that <laughs> all of us support. Yeah, by, by, none of us agree, but, but that's what, that's what I would love to ask you. Why are you supporting, why are you protesting my show with that? I would love to ask them that. Did she say this on the podcast, someone said? And then they responded, and this kind of gives away that they're, the intention of this is to harass her mom. Yes, I think today's Friday's episode. I don't know what she said exactly, but I'm pretty sure I heard her mention that her mother will be at the live eye, um, eyeball emoji. <coughs> um, yeah, there's really nasty shit in here too. Poor Mama Zion. People saying that they're worried now and higher security for the live. There's <coughs> lots of security. We have oh. it covered. We're not worried. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. Not a big deal. I, I don't. I'm not even like worried about it happening. I'll I, I'll deal with it. I, I'm <laughs> right. I'm frankly not anxious about it. I'm curious. I'd like to talk to them. I'm curious to see one of these people for real, <laughs> and then be like, dude, you you're showing your face in public that you're on H3 Snark. Like that's <laughs> crazy. Like now I know what these people. I mean, that's you. That's so embarrassing. Um, but, uh, poor mama Zionist, you don't know anything about her, but you see what they're doing, how they talk about her. They, they really, I don't know. And we said, Dan is subliminally message, manipulating <laughs> me to commit tax fraud. That's right. All of you don't pay your taxes. <laughs> Wait, what? You heard me. What's the context of the tax fraud? <laughs> they're joking about the subliminal messaging. Oh, okay. The schizo posting that yeah. these people are doing. I saw a couple of posts on here from people who are no longer fans but going to the live because they paid. I wouldn't doubt that people protest there because of some of the things he has said. I am, that actually, if that's true, that actually makes me quite sad that like someone who was such a fan to the point where they bought lives and planned to come out and then I guess they are now on this subreddit, which is like the most unhinged freak shit. I hope that, that that's not true. I genuinely don't know what I said that could cause that. Um, also, just take this energy and direct it at somebody that's actually, you know, Joe Biden was just in LA and had a huge protest. Did any of these people go to that? Good question. You know? It's I like, no, know. the, the, the H3 podcast? podcast steamies. That's, that's where, that's where we need to The epicenter of energy. Zionism. Oh, because Ela's mom is there. Or but maybe I put it another way. You're a bunch of pussies. <laughs> Um, 
somebody said, I saw this on the H3 subreddit, screenshot and posted, and then the original post said, I saw it and panicked. Why did you panic? But this has got to be TOS. And like, here's the crazy part, is that when I saw this thread about like, um, coming to harass us in real life and specifically organizing around harassing Ela's mom, who's like coming here traumatized um, to escape this kind of shit, is, um, I, 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 it made me say Reddit, what the fuck is this? Why is this allowed? And they don't do anything. They don't care. Reddit doesn't care. But they don't care. But like, so Trisha had a snark subreddit that got like nuked out of existence. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't know why they don't, I, 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 well, it's usually very, it has to go on. For, I, don't, I don't know how long this has been around because I, I try not to pay attention to this shit, but <laughs> usually it takes a while. Like, famously that, um, <clears throat> I mean, this is an ancient history on Reddit now, but there was like this horrible subreddit called Jailbait that was literally oh just my a pedo God, that subreddit. And it was on the years. website for years. I remember that. That and like, everyone was always pointing it out and complaining about it or whatever. And it wasn't <laughs> until it made it to mainstream news. And like the next day that shit was gone. So that was one of the biggest subreddits, dude. right? It was, and so huge. I think that's that's kind of their attitude is until like it actually is, you know, upsetting. It's it's kind of hitting the mainstream and it's gonna potentially affect advertisers and stuff. They just take a hands off approach. They just don't really care. Kind of <laughs> I mean, the brawl. jailbait one is not that. I would be on all browsing all, and it's on my fucking homepage. Uh. I started using Reddit right at the end of that era, so I never actually experienced that, but I, I remember hearing about that whole drama. And there's been a few more cycles of that, too. I mean, they do take action. You know, it happens. Like you just said, Trisha had, like, a harassing subreddit like this, and they eventually did get rid of it, right? I don't it, know but... for what or wow. Yeah, and she had a snark subreddit that was, like, populated by really obsessive weirdos, too. Yeah. Because the, the purpose of these snark uh, subreddits is literally, <laughs> like... Um, to incite harassment and hate. Like, that's it. They, I don't, there's no, there's no, like, I'm surprised these snark subreddits are even allowed because it, it just seems like they all devolve into really nasty shit, dude. I don't know. Super invasive and, like, just <laughs> creepy and weird. But, um. Somebody said, I think Trisha sent lawyers. I mean, maybe. Maybe, uh, and that's, exactly, it's just like, I don't think reporting it to Reddit will do anything. If they get a letter from a lawyer, Whoa. They, they might actually Wait, hold on. do something. Silver like Phenomenon says the CEO of Reddit was a mod of jailbait? <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. Dude, what? I mean, Could Reddit. it be that they just added him? But that, that, he, that means he knows about it. Well, they were certainly aware. <laughs> well, like I said, it was on my, it was on my all feed. It was definitely aware. But, um... <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I fucking uh, think that this is super fucked up. Like, there's lots of really nasty shit, and that stuff's whatever. I don't care about it. But when I really, when I saw this post about harassing Ela's mom, it was when I was like, I should, I should say something because this is too far. This is too much, you know. So, it's it's looking like you're right that they uh, they made him a mod without him knowing. But I think I don't know if it changed, but you have to accept. To be a mod. Uh, but maybe do what, you? I'm trying to remember if yeah. when, uh, the R Kanye subreddit added me as a mod, which I'm still a mod of, by the way. Um, flex? If I had to accept that or not. That's I'm the only time in recent memory that I've been invited to do that. I'm pretty sure you have to accept. I think I'm still on there. Let me check. Yeah. R Kanye. I huh. saw I just saw Love's message in Discord delayed and I'm like, what the fuck is Love talking about? <laughs> but that's old now. He was talking about C Man. He goes, he no. was trying to get Torque to be fair. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> like, what the they removed me. Oh no. Oh, fuck Kanye West, dude. Nazi piece of shit. No. They... Ian, are you still on there? No, remember that was the whole thing. They removed Ian <laughs> and they added me instead. <laughs> There's a fan and that's that's awesome. Yeah, there it is. Uh but maybe not anymore. It looks like they actually purged most of the moderators. Oh, I heard they closed it, right? Ian in protest, like they had to they had to abandon. Uh that was like I think they're over it. I think they're they're back on the Kanye train <laughs> over there. I don't know. Oh, they're back. Yeah, there, but there's, it's, dude, there's like three H3 snark subreddits. There's like three? Yeah, there's Frenemies 3, and then H3, H3 underscore, which is the one that Matt Haas made, is my conspiracy long ago. 
<laughs> and then there's the um that one I remember the snark one. But, but I haven't. You shouldn't look at the like. Just... No, I don't. I don't look at them. And the other two I have never cared about. But these posts from this specific subreddit I did care about. Sure. I and mean that's that's, that's why I'm talking about it. it. I was like, yo, I just man. Stay the fuck <laughs> off all that shit. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Uh, there it is. Social media in general, man, it's just it's just bad. <coughs> it's bad for your brain. It really is. Oh wait, there was more Seaman stuff. Um, I just want to make sure I talk about it all. And then there's the one of him. I asked him. They're saying I coerced him to post it on Twitter. Yeah, but so the there's uh, a picture one. And so here is me asking if I can post it on Twitter so that the audience knew what we were talking about. In a public video that you made. It's you with two dudes, and you all are having a good time, and you yeah. pan down to your dick real fast. So that's the photo. I'm going to ask for your permission if I could post it to Twitter so that the fans can share their opinion on the size of it. If they want to share the opinion, that's fine. I don't okay. mind. You could do it. Just there right. it is. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, listen, it's an appropriate question, I, I think you could say. Uh, it's a... He... I mean, the guy is has his dick out publicly on public subreddit, so... I mean, uh, I asked permission, and he said yes. I mean, he, he said yes. I don't know what to say. Well, yeah, and again, like you said, you met him by him making an ad for his website, for his yep. adult website, so. <laughs> exactly. That's how we found him, because he was trying to recruit people for his foot fetish website on YouTube. Yeah, if it was like. He posted his own dick on Twitter, apparently, uh, too. I don't know. I don't know. But look, I'll say that. I this. mean, he, yeah, he's, he does porn. Like, it's <laughs> it's all very public. It would be a totally different story if this was, even if it was porn, but it was behind a paywall or something, uh, and it wasn't, like, publicly available. You know, that gets into a much grayer territory. But this was stuff that he, I think it's, it was, it. he posted it on Reddit, right? Yeah, he has his own subreddit where he right. posts this. That's where right. we found so, it. So this, this is all publicly available material. But, I don't like, know. and I, I, the, I'm not trying to say, like, because he's an adult performer, that therefore it doesn't matter. No, you I still do, ask for permission. I, listen, and he yeah, said, these yeah. people, uh, you know, I, I, that's not my opinion on that at all. But I asked permission, and he he gave it pretty again uh, emphatically. Share their opinion and on the size of it. If they want to share the opinion. That's fine. I don't okay. mind. You could do it. Just thank right. you. I mean, thank you. That's like awesome. I said, is the whole the whole the whole end thing. With me was I just went off with someone told me like I said I've never measured it I don't and then it's clear when you watch his hesitancy is just because it doesn't look big and he wants it to look big which is why he offered a little bit after this he says I'll come I'll go come back in ten minutes I'll go jerk off and then I'll show you my erection so you know that was his offer to us and uh, I find listen and I'll say this. And somebody said, now that he's removed consent, did you remove the picture? Yeah, we deleted it. I deleted it. If yeah. I, I didn't know it bothered him. When I found out, I erased it. You know what I mean? Public nudity calls are interesting. <laughs> but I'll say this, you know, first of all, like, I, um, I put myself in this position. And that's where I'll say that this, that I fucked up. This is, this is, you know, this is an old timey kind of shock humor doesn't really translate well today and I put myself and, and it was a, it was it got pretty outrageous uh I it wasn't immediate I remember Ethan asked multiple times before and after he said no here watch this don't go around here your opinion on this mission this and you video that turned see, on man. <laughs> you. I wasn't a wreck see no, I wasn't I turned on I, I, a normal yeah. person never turned see, on man. I understand <laughs> bad take but so the, there's a About picture what? one a public video that you made it's you with two dudes, and you all are having a good time, and you yeah. pan down to your dick real fast. So that's the photo. I'm going to ask for your permission if I could post it to Twitter so that the fans can share their opinion on the size of it. If they want to share the opinion, that's fine. I don't okay. mind. You could do it. Just all right. You. That's it. That was the whole thing. Um, people, okay, can you, hold on one sec. You fucking freak. I'm just banning some weird moron. by dummy. Um. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I was just replying to that person to tell him to shut up. <laughs> she keeps spamming <laughs> the same dumb shit. Shut the it's fuck like, just up, go Amy. away, dude. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Amy. So, like, obviously, you know, I put myself into this weird position. People are saying power dynamic. Well, I, I don't know what you want. I He calls into the show because just, to explain his sexcapades. Just, you know, like, okay, sure. But that's what I'm saying. I put myself in this position. It was uh, turned into something 
awkward and bad, and I, I, I'm not doing this shit anymore, okay? So, that's it. Male foot lover one. I'll give him one last plug for the road. <laughs> if there's any investors out there looking to invest. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the end of the Seaman's. I mean, I even, sent, I even sent the man a picture of my, me driving barefoot, man, or video. Sent him a video of me driving barefoot. Come on. You know? But anyway. Lots of people saying they never really liked Seaman, so maybe it's for the best. Well, that, that arc is definitely over. With peace and love. But I guess, yeah, I think it, it did get pretty extreme there, talking about, like, jerking off and showing it. it. It went too far. It did go too far. And when it goes too far, it puts in a position where I, compromising uh, myself, right? And so, whatever. Thank you. That's what I'll say about Seaman. <sighs> but uh, best of luck to you. I mean, he's, you know, he's out there. What happened should have happened. What should have happened happened. And it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of true, isn't it? So that's the Seaman follow-up. <clears throat> Timestamp, uh, you know. Goofs and gaps. And salutes in the chat. I see that. One last salute. Salute? To the Seaman saga. Oh, we're Just, saying... Yeah. We're saying bye-bye to Seaman. Dude, there, there really is the H3 guest curse because we talked to the Live Forever guy. I, oh, Brian Johnson. Mm -hmm. We talked to him on Friday, right? And this weekend, a story came out about him of one of his exes suing him for abuse. Mm -hmm. The... Si the day after, bro, people can, and then same thing happened to Dream. You can't escape. Dream was like, it was <laughs> like the last minute of the episode, I think. Yeah. And I saw him trending on Twitter. I'm like, no way. <coughs> no I'm way. Not, man. Can you believe, and I, I keep joking about the H3 curse, but like it keeps being proven. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, it makes me worried about having people call in at all. I don't think we can have guests anymore, period. Because I don't, at this point, I think. When we have a guest, it opens up a portal to an alternate universe where they're like a predator. Right. Because at this point, the chances of them all just being exposed as predators one day after the show is too, it's too astronomical. So it's us doing it to them. Thank you, Zach. Mm. It makes me worried about the reoccurring <coughs> guests. Like, we think Jimmy's bad, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe he has like bodies in his basement or something. We'll yeah. I mean, shit. That. <laughs> Ugh, Jimmy. We love Jimmy. We love Jimmy. That's I'm gonna have a hard time letting Jimmy go. He's my dog. We got each other's backs, me and Jimmy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about loyalty. Oh, see, he was also threatening to sue me. I guess he said, uh, "I wonder what his legal team thinks." By the way, I think I might need to figure things out legally. Okay, what? That'd be an epic deposition. <laughs> All the all the talk about his dick size. Oh God! Yeah, he's like he defamed me, Your Honor. He said my dick is small. <laughs> Exhibit A. Your lawyer would need like the national average. True. Exhibit A, Your Honor, is a picture of Seaman's uh, uh, penis from the video entitled "Just a Couple of Dudes Having Fun in the Classroom After Dark." Here There's is Exhibit else. B. Seaman saying his penis is in between, somewhere in between. Nine and twelve inches. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I present you Exhibit A and Exhibit B. It is not lining up, Your Honor. Clearly, this man does not have a nine-inch penis. It is clear to all of you members of the jury. Here's a nine-inch penis, Your Honor. Here's what a flaccid nine-inch penis looks like, Your Honor. And here's every stage of erection. You can clearly see lining it up with Seaman's cock <laughs> that in no part of this erection life cycle does Seaman enter into the equation. He's gonna say you can't handle the truth and rip it <laughs> full of dick out in front of you. <laughs> and then she's got a hog. And, and then the court go they gasp. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Then you're gonna have to pay up. <laughs> somehow get it there. 
<coughs> yeah, I don't know. It sucks. I feel I feel bad that this whole thing went sideways, but it is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. That's what it is. That's the way the cookie. That's the way the egg. You can, sometimes you gotta bra- break an egg to make a to make an omelet. And in order to comprehend, you're gonna have to break some. <laughs> comprehend. In order to comprehend and to eat the uh, the, the the omelet of knowledge, you're gonna need to break <laughs> those eggshells. Exactly. He took the words right out of my mouth. Um. There it is. Thank you. Kylie Crum says. I'll, re- I'll read all the donos and stuff at the end. We've had a good uh, habit of doing that, so I don't miss anything. Here's some fun stuff. Cav Cav, speaking of uh, friends of the show, this is wild. So he's been working on um, Skill House, which is this movie with, it's got Fiddy in it, right? Mm-hmm. And Bryce Hall. Dude has been working on this movie for like years. Here's the official Twitter account. Now check this, see what they've been up to. Here's Skillhouse official Twitter account reposting, I have reviewed the new Hunter Biden indictment. As a former federal prosecutor <laughs> and someone who has followed the Hunter saga quite closely, here are my initial reactions. Hunter is in a lot of trouble. Soda! Okay, what is, why is, why is your movie retweeting this, Ryan? What the hell, bro? This is so good. What are you doing, man? This is how incompetent he is. He he's taken this this movie, this brand, and now he's retweeting fucking like supercharged political shit on it. Well, is the, does that mean is the movie just dead? Is it just? Is this is just his personal? When did Bryce Hall come on the show? When was good that? question? Was that this year? or Was that in twenty twenty two? I think it was about a year ago, if I had to guess. Brian, Maybe less. I think it was this year. Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. But even uh, more, it's been in, yeah. Because they were, <laughs> we had already been hearing about it, yeah, March 29th of this year. So he was talking about the movie at that time. We had heard about it before Bryce came on, too. Yeah. Yeah, and they had, like, I think it was actually shot several years ago. So it's just kind of like sitting in limbo. He's trying to sell it with Casey's documentary. They're both <laughs> right, looking yeah. for a, a buyer. What year is it? it? That might be true. He might be on a bit of fucking sell the movie. Nobody's like, I'm not buying this shit. Uh, here's another skill house retweet. A breaking report. A United States warship has, and multiple com- <laughs> uh, commercial ships have come under fire in the Red Sea. <laughs> We're aware of reports regarding attacks on the USS Canary and commercial vessels in the Red Sea. <laughs> and will provide information. I know this is Ryan Kavanaugh because he's like a he's like hardcore Zionist. Oh like, yeah, like mm, Giga, yeah. Giga Zionist. Yeah. So like it was. Um, this is a Cav Cav retweet. To the extent that like wasn't didn't he get <laughs> mad at Natalie Portman for not being like militantly Zionist enough? Yes, or something. Yeah. Yes, that was and one of was, the like, issues. Those leaked he... emails, right? Yes, in his drunken emails to Natalie Portman at 3 a.m. <laughs> Right, and it was like all misspelled and shit. And she was like, thank you, I have to change my email address now. <laughs> Which, as you know, is always a good sign when you're trying to court somebody. Don't ever contact me again. <laughs> my famous, the, my, the best you could hear, really. So I thought that was interesting. Is there any updated details on this movie? Well, I, I looked, because when we saw this, I was like, what the fuck is up with this movie? And it supposedly has a February 2024 release date. Oh my goodness, that's right around um, the corner. Which, a movie release in February. Is that a curse? I, I'm i pretty sure that that's like where you dump the movies that you know are going to bomb. Like this, that's what studios normally do. This is a great uh, comment. If you look at Harvey's Twitter, actually that's Ryan Kavanaugh. Oh. If you look at, uh, it says Harvey, but I'll say Ryan's Twitter. He hasn't posted since December 1st. First non-movie retweet was on the 3rd. My guess is he thinks he's in on his main account. At least he has another fail to put on his toy podcast. Yeah. I think you might be right. I think he's just signed into the wrong one. Yeah. Because why the fuck else would he be retweeting that? Ugh, God. And plus his feed would be like no notification of like... <laughs> What account he's on because the comments just make no sense for the most part. Right, because they're all bots, probably. Yeah. They're just jibber jabber. This is the best of the best, Ryan. 
Wait, somebody. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta see if this is true. But an enterprising young fan here, Gus, in the chat says, "Skillhouse first mentioned an off the rails number thirty-seven. We're on like whoa, over a hundred now. What the, what date was that? <laughs> How do you all know that? You guys are uh, wild. because there's like these trans. Uh, there's websites where you can search like mass search the transcripts of. Are you uh, serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's so that. good. Like, yeah. I bet you could pull it up yeah, right now. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, 47, right? Uh, he said 37, but maybe he meant 47. Looking. Or maybe there's an even older one. Do we have any updates about his podcast, too? Because I'm also hyped about that. I mean, I'm a, Oh, I'm good a, point. I'm a Did big ever fan. Did he the pod? I'm, you know. What was it called? Failure? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> With I, Ryan Kavanaugh? I Failure. A Ryan Kavanaugh one. biography. <laughs> Autobiography. <laughs> nope, still just the teasers. Dude, if he fails to launch his failure podcast, it's going to be the best well, thing. Of course ever. he will. This guy can't do any goddamn <laughs> single thing right. He cannot do a single <laughs> thing right. We love him. Though. I love that it has almost 300 ratings. Um, Five when stars? When there isn't any episode out. It has four, actually. Mm, but. Tough. Tough crowd. Yeah. Um, heralding from Manifest Media, the 24-episode series called Failure is set to launch in December. Yo! Let's go. Any day now. You let's go right now, dude. Twenty-four episodes. I'm gonna listen to each one. Anyway, shout out Matt Reif. We've been talking about a bit on the show. Um, he's doing the tour, the Jordan Peterson show, and we watched a bit of it. It was really quite a bad interview. We were joking about how bad of an interviewer Jordan is. He spoke, I think, was it 60 or 70% of the time someone did a breakdown? <laughs> it's quite significant. Yeah, you asked for though. a breakdown, somebody, yeah, it was heavily, heavily leaning Jordan. Um, but if you look at the Matt Reif podcast, I happened upon it, and I was truly stunned. Let's see. Here, I guess his, Matt's objective was... It's uh, a modern twist. ...was successful because, I mean, shit, three million views. Rife for cancellation. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched any of your stuff, but you're bold and hilarious and you're daring, brave. And you're so canceled. No. This is the oddest. Dude, Jordan Peterson heads are the most brainwashed <laughs> people on. Like, this is the oddest, most beautiful exchange. There's nothing beautiful about this exchange. It was just vapid rambling of Jordan. It was 20 minutes, Matt, 53 minutes, Jordan. <laughs> That is so <laughs> funny. How is that for a guess, That's man? That's insane. He spoke for over double the amount of time. Dude. Uh, what is that ratio? 20, 20. 20.04. <laughs> it's 25% right. 53.78. 25.75? It's, it's a 37. Matt was 37% of the podcast. So <laughs> about a third. So about two thirds of the podcast. Dude, the That's yapping. nuts. And he's, this is a comedian. This is a guy who talks for a living. But anyway, it's a beautiful exchange, and we love that about him. But anyway, he's actually uh, picking a new fight now that he's taken women out, as just they're all taken out. But now the ultimate enemy is here, 60-year-olds. Um, here he is responding to a 6-year-old's TikTok, literally, uh, Hi, with a comment. I decided to start beef with my 6-year-old child online. Yeah, you heard me correctly. My six-year-old child online. <laughs> Here's so, the comment he left. Wait, why is your six-year-old online? Oh, true, dude. Right? She true. posted a video on her account, right? Oh, it was on her account. I, that's and, my uh, understanding. I Can we see the video Which, that she posted? Yeah, I'm curious what he Because maybe he has to. it coming. Maybe the six-year-old was being really yeah, fucking maybe he Maybe he was totally <laughs> fucking up. <laughs> Anyway, Matt wrote this comment. Jupiter also has, oh, he was correcting about the Jupiter Saturn ring joke. He said, if you want a ring, this ain't Jupiter or something like that. And everyone's like, well, Saturn's the planet famous for having rings. Why wouldn't you say Saturn? And this kid fucking chewed into him. <laughs> um, if we can find that. I think Olive's. She does? Okay, right so here it is. Anyway, he commented... Jupiter also has rings. Oh, and Santa Claus isn't real. Your mom buys your presents with the money she makes on OnlyFans. Good luck. And by the way, I don't think this woman is does OnlyFans. 
Or maybe she does. I don't know. I don't think so. That's a crazy thing to That's say so to a kid. Thing. Is that crazy? Yes. <laughs> hey, your mom's a whore. Good luck, kid. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> you heard me correctly. My six-year-old child crazy. on That's crazy. I think so this is the video, is but Bunny he Hidea, must he... have deleted his comment because it's not on here anymore. Oh, he for sure did. Oh, he yeah. got He got railed for this one. Oh, yeah. People are saying in the comments, where is his comment? Yeah, he, he definitely erased it. it. Jesus, man. You really got to get your shit together. You don't know me. Hedaya means gift. And this is my gift to you. Reading Matt Reif to Phil. Like Matt, I have a full female audience online. Although I like mine. I don't want the men. You can keep them. Please. I will gladly take your audience because we know you can't satisfy them anyways. This all started when his comedy special, which that's what we're calling comedy. Some of the things he said that weren't even funny were posted on TikTok and I started being tagged in them because everyone knows that my son is like a genius and he's really into space. I fiercely protect my child online. I'm not a family channel. People know his name. They know he likes space. They know he likes Minecraft. And that's pretty much it. Most people By the way, this is Bunny Hedaya. Bunny Hedaya. Not know any personal Bunny H E D A Y A about my child and because of that and because i have such a large audience when i see people in person and when people see space clips they tag me in them because they know that that's what he likes this is the video that i posted oh that's good she showed stars, man. Just because, Jupiter has because saturn has visible ones that's why he said it has more he clearly knows I'm trying to boost this a little bit since i got so this kid quiet. in his universe hoodie comes down hard on matt <laughs> It has more also, and you're mean to girls. Oh, I'm not the type of content I love that he couldn't let that go. Huge. He, he had to come on this six year old. They'd come mm -hmm. over the top. And that was early. That's a W show. Oh, really? Well, your mom's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, <Literally>. bro. <laughs> the most beautiful light on the other side of the screen, and he's got to break his spirit so quick. <laughs> it's crazy. It's awesome. W I usually talks about other people or other things for views. I focus my content only on me, because guess what, Matt? I'm interesting enough on my own. But I also didn't pay for my looks, so that's not really what people follow me for. If you look to the video on here, you can see that all the comments were like, oh my god, he's so smart, he's so cute, like, oh my gosh, yeah! Girl pack you, he's not tagged in it. I have no connection with him, and it was posted on a Netflix page. While you clearly took a lighthearted video and turned it into fighting with a six-year-old, let's talk about the comments that you said about me. This is my IG where he left the comment, okay? Do I look like... I don't even show my body. For you to Oh, that's what... Yeah, I don't think she's OnlyFans. I don't think she no, does she, any... Definitely not. I think she does... Totally unrelated. I mean, she just does, like, makeup and stuff, it looks like. <laughs> That's that's even more that's even crazier. Like what she's just a whore? Why? Because she's a woman online? Mm -hmm. Awesome joke, bro. Super funny. Every single woman online makes money by showing their bodies. True, which, girl. Like, if that's, that's what you do, girl, do you? Like literally. Love it. I have never made a single dollar from a man. Audience is female, 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 female. Girl. And a little bit of the gays and nays. You can't Girl, me the fact too. that people may <laughs> like women <laughs> You stick to circle jerking, the men that you need validation from, Ooh. and I will gladly take your female audience. True. That you so desperately want to get I'll take hurts some. Because I'm richer than you. And I Ooh. Circle to make it. Yo, <laughs> let's go. What now, Matt Rife? Suck on what's left of your career. But keep my child's name out of your mouth. We can do <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like he still has a lot left of his career. He was successful. He got rid of all of his women fans, and he went on Jordan Peterson and got 3 million views. And it was a beautiful conversation. It changed my life. <laughs> yeah that was pretty good i thought yeah i was really so like, hold on though important question so it, it, it can you clarify for me what the argument about the rings is over so his joke yeah there was a joke about how a girl was trying to get a ring on it and uh -huh. he said something like uh jupiter this ain't jupiter or something like that right saturn is the planet that's known for having a ring yeah, I mean, Jupiter does have a small ring system, but... Uh, but I think they're right. I mean, when you I mean, think Saturn of Saturn is clearly rings. the one that you make the joke about. Like, what is that? 
I mean, even uh, this uh, is Uranus has uh, more rings than uh, Jupiter. Saturn is prominent. the planet with rings. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's the one. You can see the rings almost with your naked it's eye. It's not even debatable, bro. What but, is he doing? Was then if you go to uh, um, Jupiter... Yeah, I mean, it does have rings, but it's Nothing just it's like not that. anything oh, like that. Look at yeah. that. That's the, I mean, come on. He obviously, I think he obviously named the wrong planet. Yeah, clearly. You know, I mean, you, you can call this a ring around, you know what I mean? Come I mean, on. even again, even you're, you're in Uranus here. Not a planet. Not a planet? They de You didn't know that? What? They t you're thinking of Pluto, dude. Oh, what is, which oh, one no. is this? Planet. This is Uranus, bro. Oh, Uranus. <laughs> My bad. It is far out there. Wait, it's, Uranus? Okay. Yeah, it's, a Uranus. it's a gas giant. It's definitely a planet. Don't, okay. don't, don't, don't. God, we got to get a six-year-old in your coffee. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get fucking Fuck, don't, dude, don't, don't roast me, bro, please. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'll be like, thank you. Oh, hey, kid. Anyway, your dad's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the status of his father, for the record. Um, so the kid is like, yo, what's the deal? Why didn't you say Saturn, dummy? I'm stupid. You know? The kid's right. He's idiot. right. The kid is right. Well, and that's why I was asking to clarify, because if the, <laughs> if the kid was speaking out of turn with incorrect astronomy knowledge, I might have, I might have switched up on him and gone back on that side, but no, the kid, the kid had it. He had, he had it. it. Absolutely. <laughs> Jupiter also has rings. Oh, and Santa Claus isn't real. <laughs> Your mom buys you presents with money she makes on OnlyFans. Why would you leave that? That's, That's so weird, un dude. That's <laughs> fucking hinged. What the fuck <laughs> is his problem? He's like the villain from like, he, he, this is the type of dude who'd show up as like a cartoonish villain in Home Alone or something. That's it's Mr. Burns shit. Yeah. <laughs> Literally the most bitter man in the United States. I don't. Oh shit! That's so funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're a smart guy. You know that's not how you pronounce Uranus. Uh, Uranus. No, it's Uranus. I, I think, think it's Uranus. Uranus. It's Uranus. It's your anus. Your mom's anus. Here, let's see. <laughs> I thought it was Uranus because Uranus is the gag, right? Yeah. It's Uranus. Yeah. Well, let's do a pronunciation. Let's see. Here, I got it. Uranus. Uranus. I'm telling you. Uranus. People try and switch it up. Oh, Uranus. Uranus. Wait, I. Uranus. Okay, because I used to say like Uranus. Embarrassed. I used to say Uranus, but then I feel like I got. Yeah, everybody gets all like gun shy about it. Oh, I'm saying anus is gross. Well, I got propaganda no, Uranus. by someone saying actually it's Uranus. Like maybe yeah. even a teacher told me that. It's, that's Uranus. Ro Roman pantheon erasure, dude. That's Uranus. Ro that's Roman erasure. You cannot stand for that. Mm -mm. Uranus. Uranus. <laughs> Here, let's put it on slow mode. Uranus. <laughs> You're yeah. pussy. You're pussy. You're pussy. Uh, uh, pussy. Uh, you know, there's yes. another really terrific planet we most people don't talk about. You're pussy. Yeah. <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Out of all the planets in the solar system, my favorite is your pussy. It really is special. It is a special, <laughs> special place. Uh, let's see here. Adore me update. What's this one about? Um, oh God, th this was pretty funny. So, <laughs> you guys know I'm on a war path to uh, sue people using my <laughs> my sounds for for commercial purposes on TikTok. Yeah. And I came across this one. And I t mentioned it briefly on the show. Adore me, which are they? Are they do like lingerie, right? Yeah, Stuff yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Um, me. do we have the original one? I don't know. But... I, I, could, I have it right now. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll watch it just to get, brush you guys up. So I had, you know, I was like, oh, daddy's about to get paid. Here it is. Oh, Hi, girl. <laughs> hey, girl, I see you. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> you know, and so I, the, the person who made it responded, this is the person. Asking Ethan forgiveness and not to sue, please. <laughs> I am the Adormi employee behind the TikTok ad using Ethan and Olivia's sound. I was watching the episode yesterday and froze in my tracks <laughs> oh my when God. I heard Ethan say Adormi. I honestly have no idea 
How I didn't realize that sound was Ethan Olivia and using it was a big mistake on my end. I've been a fan for years since the H3 channel was still active, and we have some major H3 and Teddy Fresh fans around the office. We come to you with peace and love, asking for Ethan's forgiveness. Please, I cannot end up like Ryan Kavanaugh. We'd love to send the crew some stuff. I love that stuff. they censored it. <laughs> it's true. It's a slur. <laughs> We'd love to send the crew some stuff as peace offering. Olivia, Sam, Lena, and Ela. I will make sure to hook you guys up. Zach is an icon, so maybe I was just trying to emulate him. But in doing so, I flew too close to the sun. PSS. PPS. Legally, I have to say that I don't speak for the entire company. Well, I will say, uh, dear Adore Me employee. <laughs> if you know one thing about me, you know this. I never go against the family. I go against the family. <laughs> but one day I'll call on you for a favor. That day might not come today or tomorrow, but someday it will come. And when that day comes, I will need you to answer the call. Tell me what you afraid of. Kavish. When that day comes, when the NRA is having a rally in the town near you. Is that funny or no? I mean, it's not bad. Just go tent, just go protest it. I agree. I Fuck them. should protest. Mm -hmm. Fuck them, man. Uh, but anyway, no, I will not sue you. Uh, I was going to send a legal letter, but I'm not going to fuck with you because we love you. So. Hey, girl. <laughs> not suing you. Do they have say. stuff that the girls want, though? You could hook us. You could hook the ladies up. I don't know. That's so nice. No, yeah, we already gave our size. Oh, you did? Sure. Hell yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So there you go. Thank you so much. We'll take that as a settlement. Thank you. Never go against the family. Never. <laughs> um, okay. We talked about cupping. I did cupping. In fact, I'm still got cupping scars. Really? Right? Oh, yeah. 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 Isn't that yeah. crazy? <laughs> did you feel any different? Nah. Nah. I didn't even feel the word. The crazy ass, like, uh, bruising was. I didn't even feel anything. Yeah. Or what didn't even hurt. Nice. It's better than bad. No! It is, yeah, it is better than bad. Yeah. But here's where I, what I really need. I don't know if your godmother does anything like this, but this is the kind of cupping I think I need to take <laughs> part in. <laughs> oh, is it doing this thing where it doesn't play the video? Hold it on. might be. Reddit's been funky today. There we go. We got it. Check it out, guys. Therapy to new extremes. He believes the bigger the cup, the this is from Did You Know Daily USA. The bigger the massage and relief. <coughs> Dude, that much fire has got to create a crazy vacuum. Oh, yeah. Because she just used like a tiny little flicker. Mm -hmm. Bro didn't survive that treatment, I don't think. He sucked his soul right out. New extreme. He believes the bigger the cup, then the bigger the massage and relief. The bigger the cup, the bigger the massage. Ew, dude. The bigger massage. That's crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot. So does she do this anything like that or no? Therapy to we could ask. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I could do that for you. I think, yeah. I'm you sure mean, we can figure it out. Just I mean, you just put fire in it. And then yeah, it's just like a big cup it. of fire. Yeah. yeah, I think so. It's not that. I agree. Yeah. Um. Oh, Zach, you're gonna like this. The good doctor. The good meme machine doctor. There's new ones. Oh man. No. I, yes, there is. I have to refresh it every time. Can't can't do this. Here, add this one to the repertoire. Fuck, you see this shit, dude? The ultimate villain has arrived in the show. And Sherlock Holmes, it's Moriarty. And the good doctor, it's a pickle. No! I said no pickles. Pardon me? It's okay, they can just take I that. I said no pickles. Oh, I am so sorry. I said no pickles. <laughs> what happened to the bottle? Bro! 
I want to keep watching. Wait, what I know, happened? I know. What the I fuck? want to see what happens, man. The bottle I like executes no somebody, like decapitates. That's what somebody. I was imagining. That it like shatters and slashes someone's throat somehow. I said no pickles. I said no pickles. Pardon me. It's okay. They can just. Take I that. said no pickles. Oh, I am so sorry. I said no pickles. They cut at the best part. Oh man. no! You, you no don't pickles. see it in the scene. The bottle like does like a freeze frame in the air, and then it cuts to another scene. What happened though, or nothing happened? Nothing happened. Okay, nobody yeah. died. Oh, what the fuck? This is a sad no, looking plate no. of food, man. They cut to it real fast, but this is like fire fest level. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> like one piece of lettuce, <laughs> half a tomato, whatever this thing is. Chick, one chicken nugget. Sad. Sad. I, I said too. no pickles. Oh wait, actually, maybe there might be more. Hold on, they said that was a sneak peek. There was <laughs> that they were building up to some kind of injury. The pickles yeah. co uh, created a train, a tri a uh, chain reaction that put somebody in the ER. I'm sure of it. I said no pickles. Mm hmm. I said no pickles. I know, man. I wouldn't. I didn't do it. I would never do that to you, the good doctor. I would never put pickles on your plate, brother. Ever. I am a surgeon! Okay. I said no pickles. Yeah, he's a good guy. Alright, so hold on. We gotta do the Dobrik thing and the uniform thing. Uh -huh. Let's do the Dobrik thing first. Okay. And then we'll do the uniform game. Sounds good. <laughs> so this is really interesting stuff. Um, I found out about this from the subreddit. Somebody there really got Hawkeyes, because I hadn't seen about this anywhere. Um, State Farm is suing David over Jeff's accident. Here it is. I said no pickles. Uh, this was, I guess, published two months ago. And we had to get the filing. Actually, my lawyer was kind, and he, he went and got the filing and then kind of even broke it down for me. Because oh, I couldn't nice. tell if this was something Did interesting. Did you charge you five grand for that? <laughs> nah, he's a nah. Oh, okay. He charged me that for other shit. He three. He actually, I don't know. He may have. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he may have. You never know. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I couldn't tell if this was interesting or not because it's like okay, you know, insurance companies sue people all the time. Uh, it could just be a, a non bullshit but it turns out i don't think it isn't on nothing so here's what happened david has an umbrella policy with state farm insurance and an umbrella policy is something i wish i had but can never ever get because <laughs> i'm too big of a liability but basically what it is is like an all-encompassing insurance uh plan that covers basically anything that happens <clears throat> defamation copyright infringement i think is one it's just like it's just umbrella mm -hmm. it's got it all <coughs> and it's i guess pretty common for um public figures to take out umbrella policy like this now i wish i had knew that before i started getting sued a bunch <laughs> now it's too late but now it is too late. Does yeah. it ever like fall off your record like in 10 years if you stay out of lawsuits do you think you could get Probably. one or is it just for life Probably. Okay. But at the same time, I can definitely understand them not wanting to insure me. They're right. like, why would I do that? Yeah. What's in it for us? Yeah. Um, nothing happened. Okay, AB is confirming nothing happened in the pickle bottle scene. Okay. I logged into Hulu and everything. It's nothing happened. There. Damn. I good. said no pickles. They really dropped the ball, or yeah. you might say the bottle in this case. Yeah, that's no. where it, Love sent the freeze frame. Where Network television is yeah. boring. Here's the freeze frame. So it actually did end where the clip ended. Yeah, he was just describing pickles. a bad day. Because that went really high up. That could have definitely hurt somebody. And then it cut to him in, in the medical office describing his bad date. So it's just a flash. No pickles. How was your date? No, no pickles. pickles. I said no pickles. No, <laughs> no. So anyway, um, so all we know is State Farm is suing David Dobrik. Here's what happened. So yeah, David has the umbrella policy. And so when it came time to pay for Jeff's medical and the settlement apparently from this lawsuit that Jeff is 
uh, enacted against David. A crane right. David went to right his insurance head. company, State Farm, and said, yo, uh, in Umbrella Insurance got to cover this. And they did. They paid out an undisclosed amount of money. <laughs> and I do wonder, I feel like it had to be seven figures for them to come after him like this. I mean, yeah, because he had like 20 surgeries on his eyes, so I'm sure it all added up. That's got it. Dude, yeah. that's a lot of guacamole. Yeah. And then the settlement, I don't know what was in that, you know, either. Right, right. So <clears throat> the story is, is State Farm Insurance filed a complaint for declar declaratory relief. The complaint arises from an insurance dispute related to a personal injury filed against Jeff uh, Jeffrey Wittick. They say that they issued here's the they issued a home owner's insurance policy and a personal liability umbrella. The policies were active during the time of the alleged incident. Jeffrey Wittick filed a lawsuit against David Dobrik, alleging negligence resulting in injury. The incident involved an excavator at Utah Lake where Wittick was injured after being swung from the excavator. The insurance claimed that David Dobrik and his LLC tendered their defense to State Farm under the mentioned policy. State Farm provided a defense under reservation of rights. State Farm contends that the policies did not cover the incident. Uh-oh. Due to exclusions related to business pursuits and potential workers' compensation eligibility. Jeff, was Jeff, he was just a dude, though. Wasn't workers' comp for employees? Is he not considered an employee of? David? I don't think David ever paid any of them. Well, that's maybe there's some stuff they had to sign because of all the stunts <laughs> they were doing. Like maybe they were under his company when they were doing some of these stunts. I don't know. Huh. If David made him sign something and didn't have a safety officer there, right? That's crazy. But anyway, they say it was not covered under the umbrella policy. Not just the workers' comp thing, but they also say related to business activities, whatever that means. Uh, they're seeking a. They're seeking to be reimbursed. They're not obligated to pay. David Dobrik, uh, defendant, liability, damage, judgment, settlements, or punitive damage at all that arise from the lawsuit, and they want their money back. State Farm has requested the court to declare that both the homeowners and personal liability umbrella policies do not provide coverage for the incident and that State Farm is not obligated to defend or indemnify the defendant in the underlying lawsuit. So this is pretty juicy in that uh, David might be losing some serious figures here to State Farm Insurance. This is very interesting. I wonder how this is going to play out, you know. Did you see the State Farm rep <coughs> that they sent? No. It's, I dropped it in Discord. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> oh, no. They sent, they sent the wolf. Cody. <laughs> like a good neighbor, I'll be there in your good neighborhood. <laughs> Cody from State Farm. That's fine. directly. Oh, fuck. You sending the wolf? Oh, no. And wait for the wolf who should be coming directly. I, although, that being said, I mean... Insurance companies are scumbags, too. So it could be, frankly, that it should be covered by his umbrella policy. I don't know. Yeah. But in the end, I don't. I think they're both scumbags. And so I think mm -hmm. I'm excited to see uh, what happens. Um, but, yeah, pretty interesting, huh? So is Jeff, like, is, is Jeff uh, liable for anything? No. I mean, according to this lawsuit? Okay. No. That's good. Not at all. That's yeah. good. Yeah. It's all against in the wolf? Dobrik personally. Isn't that great? Like, that's fucked. He's got to pay back State Farm, dude. Although, I get the feeling he's making more money now than he ever did with that Snapchat shit. A hundred percent. I definitely think so. I mean, it's I think, he's, nuts, I think he's making good money, but I mean, he was, he had Robert Downey Jr. and his stuff. He had Leonardo DiCaprio, Chipotle. It was, he was. It was that's true. Yeah. And his, his heyday was pretty nuts. Um, yeah, Je I mean, David could, none of this would be happening if he just fucking took care of him. He's being sued by an insurance company, State Farm. These guys are like juggernauts, man. They don't fuck around.
they sue people. Uh, that's just what they do on a daily basis. That's like their whole business. Um, so he summoned the devil. Yeah. They coming. No, I'm. Inter- they coming from Dobrik's, the pizza spot. <laughs> or Do- yeah, Dobrik's. Yeah. I'm interested to learn more about this Snapchat stuff because it's kind of interesting the way they have clickbait and everything. <laughs> I've noticed with like him and Austin McBroom, you'll see like uh, like a, a girl in a bikini. It'll usually be like Catherine and Austin's uh, thumbnail, and they save it till the last one. So you have to click through all of their Snapchat stories to get there. Smart. Yeah. Dude, Austin is getting paid by Snapchat, and I can't get on that program. Yeah. Austin McBroom. That is well. I've even speculated that he might have like a contract to only post on Snapchat because it doesn't really make sense why he doesn't. David post. or Austin? David. I think David just puts his time where the money is. He well, posts on it, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like it's odd for him to not post anywhere else. Well, my theory is there's no comment section on Snapchat. <laughs> yeah. So. This, is, uh, this was a nice comment, Jeff, if you're watching. Um, they're saying Jeff is hot as fuck. He doesn't need the other eye. That's true. Okay. You look good with one eye, bro. Literally. It was, honestly, it wasn't fair that he had both of them. True. He's too good looking. True. It's an equalizing uh, uh, crime. Yeah. If we could just move one eye to the center, mm-hmm. that'd be sick. <laughs> I don't know if the technology is there or what. Jeff Klops. Jeff Klops. Cyclops. Yeah. yeah. All right. With that being said, let's get on with the show. Um, let's get on. We are today. We are competing. Whose uniform will become the future, the norm, worn proudly by members of the H3 podcast here next year in our new season? I mean, we are making the winner. Right. So you want to make the winner and we will probably wear them a couple times for the for as the long gag. as as long as we can until we're like this sucks <laughs> right we're not doing I just want to set expectations well here. how long do you sit in the scorpion chair you know what I mean I mean hopefully we won't do it as long that was a couple years so I don't know if we're gonna be wearing these for a couple years but but I guess it just depends on how how reviving it Wait, you know? oh my god hold on Lena is oh. this real oh my god wait mm-hmm. hold on hold on I can't believe it's just, uh, I'm working on something, and it's time sensitive. Hold on one sec. Oh boy, big news? You want to read up maybe a dono or something? Yeah, we got a bunch here. I'll, uh, <laughs> let me check out. Uh, a five gifted pod, uh, podcast memberships from Blizzard Woofy? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? <laughs> One of the mods. Oh my god. No um, let's see. Uh, Pearson donated 20 bucks and said, me and my girlfriend were supposed to be at the live show this Saturday, but the airline changed our flight to a later date without notifying us? What? How can they do that? The airline said there's nothing it can do because it's basic economy ticket? Dude. Oh, well that sucks ass, man. I'm sorry that happened. Why? Huh. There's really nothing they can do about that? That's crazy. How can they just fuck you like that? I'm very sorry to hear that. I, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like you should you should escalate that to a manager or something because uh, they they got. Hold on, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna accept because I want to ask Lena a few questions. Okay. Uh, I'll keep going. Um, no, maybe no more male guests over the age of fifty. <laughs> well, yeah, that's starting to look like it might be a good policy change. Um, we'll think about it. Uh, Becca W said the show got me through really hard years and I'm now engaged and 12 weeks pregnant. Hey, Becca, oh congrats. Thank you for helping me hold on to the good times. You got it. Uh, Kevin Adamus, uh, Domtis, oh boy, I know that name. Kevin. Ethan, I'm still out here. Me and Shetty have been hard at work in the lab cooking up a response. Oh, you know Jay Shetty? Of course he does. Call me, Kevin. Um... Stormy Storm donated fifty dollars. You need a professional body language expert and interrogator from the U.S. Secret Service <laughs> to help you understand the intentions of Jay Shetty. My business partner would be able to help. Now, what is going on 
that you have a business partner that is a U.S. Secret Service member. Are they allowed to like moonlight? The Secret Service? I don't know, but I would like a body language person to follow me around and let me right. know the D. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Stormy Storm, for the uh, $50 donation. Uh, Shades said, uh, take my illegal immigrant money from my forever stagnant job. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for the donation. Uh, if you are illegal, just remember, no man is illegal. Beautiful. No man is a little. Oh, yeah. yes. Beautiful. Or woman. Beautiful. Or anything in between. Beautiful. Um, let's see. Heidi donated 50 bucks and said, Petition to have a raffle for Ann Son's box at the live show since they're always out of stock and I want one so bad. Um, maybe I can see if I... I mean, he's... He's always given us free stuff, um, and I'm starting. Uh, despite what Ethan says, I'm starting to feel kind of bad about it, um, exploiting his generosity. But yeah, well, I mean, maybe I can see what we can do with All that. Right. Um, but thank you, regardless, for the donation. And uh, you know, I tried to uh, go over to their little cafe over in Beverly Hills mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, but I didn't realize they they close at two. So I missed my window. You said like, I'm exploiting their generosity. I said fun? I feel like I'm. I'm not putting that on you. Oh come I, on! I said you, I know you don't feel that way. Why do you feel bad? We're having. This is a total. I know he's get he's benefiting from it too. Yeah. Of course, of course he is. Every they, time they're getting lots of. Clip, we talk about it like rave about loss it. Loss of it. I know. I don't know. I just I feel bad getting free stuff. That's just it's my personality. We moved know. more than Oprah. Okay. Seriously. Yeah, no, I, I feel you. We know more than Oprah, bro. I get it. I get it. He's definitely, he's getting something out of it, too. I, I agree, but. It ain't I feel you. great accepting them personally. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm the only one that, that has any qualm about it. Oh, stop. <laughs> Damn. He's very, he's always very nice about it, though, and uh, yeah. Jeff's the man. Mm -hmm. um, His name's Mark, but. Uh-oh. Uh <clears throat> so you good? You get you yeah, handle your time sensitive thing. Something Elo's birthday is tomorrow. Oh right. And there's was some, it what I thought it was? Is it what it's you were related, talking about yeah, earlier? What we talked oh, about. Shut up. Oh, we'll talk about it. I don't know snap. if it's a good idea though. That, I think it's an incredible. I mean, we'll talk about it. Because it's like so much. You know. Do it. Do it. Do it. There's do nothing it, do it. that. It, well, let's um. It's crazy. I love it. It's one of those things that you don't regret, though. Do it. Hindsight. That is very true. <laughs> it just sucks for a while, but then. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Do okay. it. Okay. Okay. All right. Y'all have to wait to find out until after the uh, the surprise. <coughs> anyway. <clears throat> anyway. So let's get to the um, the crew uniforms. Let's do it. As you guys know, many companies have uniforms. We're talking about McDonald's, Wendy's. Uh, Subway. Jiffy Lube. Subway, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, I want Subway. It's been so long. When's the last time y'all had Subway, you know what I mean? The beginning of the year when you were silent for 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's yeah. been a minute. Shout out Jeff, hot as fuck with one eye. Damn. Still looks good, man. No one else could pull that off. <laughs> um, So, we... Uh, are we going to go one by one, presenting at the end? The audience will vote. Yeah. They will be made custom. Yep. No expense will be spared. Yep. And we'll all be forced to wear this, which is fully, you can, I can force employees to wear uniforms, bro. Mm -hmm. I can force you guys. Can you? I suppose there has to be. I think so. I mean, there's plenty of jobs that require a uniform, so yeah. Yeah, I think I can force you to wear a uniform. <laughs> I think so. I can, I'll have to ask our HR. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll see you on H3 Snark. <laughs> <laughs> he forces us to wear uniforms. I knew it. <coughs> all right, well, let's uh, do it. I'm excited. I'm excited to see everybody's. I've seen right. a couple, but so most, I'm, up most first of them. we've got this person. I don't think we, we're not going to do it anonymously. Because I think we want people to talk about their uh, design. Okay, so who's first? Uh, who is first? Who designed this one? That would be me. All right, maybe take it away. Slick bomber jacket? Yeah, I, well, it. 
I'm not able to Photoshop <laughs> as well as some of my colleagues, but those are supposed to be leather sleeves. Okay. Uh, I don't wear leather, so already a big strike against it. <laughs> and we, we talked about, you know, things to be slightly modified if we decide <laughs> we like it. We can get faux leather, Dan. Okay. Get well, down with the faux, faux leather. leather's really good. It's caught up. It's caught up, huh? It has. Yeah. That's what I wanted, faux leather. I would never love the animals. <laughs> we um, love animals here, folks. But yeah, just like a varsity jacket. That's pretty cool. Pod Squad. Pod Squad, great for branding. Oh, brother. Don't love the no, Pod Everyone squad in the office brothers. hates Pod Squad. The Pod Squad <laughs> thing is vision. rough, man. <laughs> they lack the vision. They lack the vision. Okay, so that was AB. Oh, that's it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Just the jacket. The, the black squares separated. Okay. I mean, it's cool. I like, the, I like the simple design. I like the color choices. We look like such tools, though, if we all walked around in there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's going to be the case for all of these. Pod yeah. Squad. Pod Squad. Yeah. <laughs> Pod Squad Assemble! Let's go! Disgusting. I feel Love bad because I recommended Pod Squad for Lena's too, so. <laughs> and now I look like I cheated. <laughs> it's okay. It's been floating around, that name. All right. Thank you, AB. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very compelling. Oh. Interesting. Turtleneck? Very nice. Who do we have here? That would be me. Okay, mm -hmm. Lena. Mm -hmm. What do we got? The inspiration for this one, uh, um, it reminds me of like when you're warming up in basketball and you have like track suits and you can, well, if you scroll down, you can see the pants. Oh, there's pants too. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <gasps> Pod so squad. Pod squad. I it. Yeah, so it has the buttons on the side. So oh, like the rip it off. Yeah. I yeah. like the track suit aspect. Thank yeah. You. So if I'm hot or cold, I can mm -hmm. convert. Yeah. Quickly. Totally easy. Yeah. I love breakaway pants. Mm -hmm. Those are so cute. Thanks. Nice. So what do we call this? Like a, it's like a track suit, I guess. Eh? Yeah. 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 I dig it. Pod squad. Maybe Lena, we can workshop thank you. The pod squad part. Up next, we've got. That's non-negotiable. <laughs> That's not oh, negotiable. Oh yeah, this one got <laughs> nuts. Oh, what the fuck? oh. This is now. This is a uniform. <laughs> I wonder hold on, what is. the wait? Hold on, is Taco Bell paying you or what? Nice. Every location, really? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. It's good. To, there's a lot. Yeah, there's, it's oh, good to know too. That's they even got them up insane. here. Like, look how north, bro. They, I don't even think people live up here. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Crazy. So go ahead. You want to unpack this for us? Well, I figured like <laughs> it's good to have handy. You know, the whole menu of. Um, of the thing yeah and on, on the pocket there you see the current uh like in item so that's this their one. campaign double like, decker yeah the double decker that selling. just <laughs> and they're selling that right now i find it so that. funny they selling something <laughs> called the double decker because everybody knows that's just when you shit in the water tank <laughs> yeah. but yeah you got all the little fucking campaigns i need a there. double decker and then double deck our toilet <laughs> fuck it dude that's what's up <laughs> And we got a little Yokiera Taco Bell dog there. I love the inclusion of, of I mean, I had to. Yeah. Yeah. Rip to the goat. Rip to the goat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and on the inside of the hoodie there, you, and actually on the, on the inside of the whole hoodie, you're going to have the, the like, uh, calorie for every, uh, every taco <laughs> and the everything. nutrition facts. <laughs> yeah, the nutritional facts. Uh -huh. You know, some of us want to stay healthy, so. For sure. sure. Right. It's good to know. It's good yes. to know. So, yeah, and then the other sleeves, just menus. And then the so pants shorts. here. So this is great, but it, it seems like a uniform for a Taco Bell employee. More no, so than it's a, for a Taco Bell enjoyer. Oh, okay. I mean, like I am me. one of those. So. Yeah. I think this is, I agree. I agree. It, it, you couldn't work at Taco Bell with this. That's, it's just, you know what I mean? Crazy. It's just the vibes aren't right. <laughs> yeah. But cool. if you go down to the pants, there's more lore. <clears throat> On the left one, you see, you, see, uh, you have some um, bundles you can buy if you want to save some money. And... Uh, the right leg there is actually a homage to one of my favorite Taco Bell <laughs> items. It's called... Uh, That's the crispy chicken thing, right? Crispy and, chicken and like... You and uh, Sam are obsessed I had one of those. Well, yeah. What's the sauce again? It's like... Oh, it's chipotle sauce. Chipotle, yeah. Crispy yeah. chicken and chipotle. Or is it the creamy jalapeno? Creamy, yeah. Or no, that's not... Ones. Oh, I, I've never even been here it's when they red, had a creamy one. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. If, if they had a creamy one, I'd like that too. <laughs> So that's, and that's like praying, I want that back, you know? Because uh, I miss it. Mm -hmm. That's quite frank, frankly what, what's going mm -hmm. on here. Beautiful. This is fire. I, I, I would wear this. <laughs> yeah, and then also on the left cheek, you have the, you have uh, like Los Angeles and all that shit. And on the right cheek, uh, you have the, 
the eastern seaboard. Los the Angeles? Yeah, I mean, nice. the entire western seaboard? Yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Los Angeles. That's, on the left, that's Los Angeles. <laughs> There's an the right entire ha western half of the no, continental United States. <laughs> New York and Florida. That's it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeehaw, partner. Yeah. Did you remove Texas? It's in the... It goes it's up in, like, in the, the crack. It's in the crack. It's in the crack. Yep. We don't no. need that. Yeah. Actually, we love Texas. Second state. Right, right, right. Of uh, enjoyers of the wow. Right. Love, yeah, I like cool. it. Oh, yeah. thank you. I'm there. Yeah. And Sweet. if you talk about making you shit your pants, it blends in a little bit. Yeah. Won't be able to tell. Yep. Aye, okay. aye, Captain. Who's this? So this is mine. Okay. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is. This is the bridge. Uh, this is the bridge team. This is sort of like a somewhat of like a, you know, military vessel themed. Um, I kind of view this control room as as the bridge of my ship in a way. Yeah, sure. And uh, why the pants look like this? Is, is, that's kind of like a classic style. Uh, Puffy in the top uniform. and tight in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I forget. I, they have some weird name. I think Parachute? they're actually like horse riding pants. Is where they uh, <laughs> okay, originated. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then, and then the, the jacket, I actually like it. You know, not saying it's gonna win, but if we did win, we'd have to redesign a little bit because this was I found some uh, some jacket that I thought kind of worked, and then I recolored it to uh, to H three colors. Okay, it's a uh, uh, Gundam uh, inspired, by the way. Okay, and you want to tell me about the boots? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, what, what about them? What, yeah, what would you like to know? <laughs> Well, how does it tie in? What's the utility? What's the story? It's a full uniform. Uh, what kind of uniform doesn't have uh, regulation boots? True. The Regular. colors match. They, uh, you know, I, I'm trying to coordinate. The boots the house mm. down, Dan. Boots really? the house down. Those are the way freezes boots. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I think they were. I think I found them uh, on Alibaba as like a on like a cosplay seller thing. <laughs> they weren't that color, but I I, I took those and recolored them to to work for the outfit very exciting as you know here in studio we often need boots for our work yeah uh so that would be handy for us i think if you scroll down i think there's a back too <laughs> oh back yeah yeah oh an idea. front and the back <coughs> so there's dan yeah oh yeah people are saying jo jode purrs is the names of those uh those types of what pants. are they called Jode purrs? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Jode per brain. <laughs> Jode per brain. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, moving on, we've got... Olivia. Yes, this one is sort of a call and response, go down. We're it's, with stupid. It's for post button <laughs> moments. Hi. <laughs> post button moments. We can all just get up and show our, our t-shirts, and then so we Ethan, continue Ethan going. wears the emoji one, yeah, he and goes, then we hey. all wear the arrow. <laughs> Wow. So we have different outfits. Yeah, we've got we got different. I have fits. like the manager outfit. Captain right. crew. I've got the uh I've got the stripes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm wearing the happy face emoji and then you're all wearing ones that says I'm with stupid. <laughs> we're with. <laughs> or we we're are. with stupid. We are. Right. Wow. In the most smart way possible. Coming down hard. No, no. I did I asked Dan, I was like, this isn't mean, right? This is a joke. Damn. Yeah, My what did I say? Her. You said no, this is Damn. funny. I believe I said, yeah, a little bit, but it's funny. <laughs> it's not mean. It's not mean. Oh my god, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I, I but recall if Dan, we're all wearing it with the post, arrows, it's gonna like yours will just be pointing at me. Oh no, the, the, it's, it's all it's all custom. We all oh they'll all be based pointing. on where we're seated. Oh my god, <laughs> the the funny. arrow goes. <laughs> yeah, don't you worry. It's gonna be a little bit special for each of us. Jesus, Olivia. <laughs> Thought you liked me. Oh my god, I love. Are you kidding me? <laughs> look at that, look at that emoji. This one's nice. That's the sweetest face I've ever seen. And I see you put a lot of effort, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's funny. The off whites. It is funny. A little mean, but funny. I don't I'm exactly kidding, I'm what kidding, I said. I'm kidding. It's a little mean. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I'm the king of mean, but funny, so. Yeah. That's true, I can do it once. I'm also the king of mean That's and legit not funny. not funny. Which gets me into trouble sometimes. I'm the king of intelligence, king of amazing YouTube podcasts. I'm making all up right, for it all, right, all right, all right, all right. All right, thank you, not Olivia. Laughing. Not funny. Up next, we've got, ooh, Ian. Uh, this is mine, yep. So, this one was my sec. I, I, I scrambled to put this together this morning because the one I made, I looked at this morning and I said, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. 
<laughs> and I gotta just show you how bad it was because I was like sending this to Olivia and I'm like, how bad is this? <laughs> so it's pretty is wild. It, <laughs> is it in here if you keep scrolling? No, I just sent it in Discord. This oh, okay. one, I laughed out loud just because I was surprised. It was a lot to see. I thought I was cooking. Uh, I think you were. And I'm, I'm upset Can you send that you it? didn't I don't submit see it. this here, one. You, uh, oh, I got it. Here, I got it. I got it. All right, here was attempt number one for me and. Wait, I like that one. Obsessed. That's more. Yeah. That's yeah. That Are one's you kidding better than... me? Wait, that one's way better. I know. I started second guessing myself here. You I, should I not got have. some second opinions that were not encouraging. Are you serious? <laughs> that that one is way better. I love yeah. this one. You want to? You can put that one in. You can enter that one. <sighs> well, so the other one I did is more uniform style. It's got <laughs> the colors. It's got the. <clears> so there's <throat> two um, embroidered patches on the shoulders. What do they say? Push. Don't put. It's the yellow oh. red for the button. Okay. It's more of a classic uniform, and then we all get our name tags. I like the name tag aspect too. Yeah. That'd be a physical, actual name tag that we'll get done. So um, let me ask you this: Which one do you want? Are you sure this is the one you want to enter? This one felt more realistic to me. I guess the other one is. <sighs> y'all really like pretend. I have a better shot with this. Y'all really pretending you like this? I think it's it's awesome. Amazing. I love See, this Dan's, one so much. Dan's what I'm talking. I mean, it's about. it's funny and this silly. Is not the ugliest point. things I've ever seen. Well, <laughs> okay, but it's like fun. I'm not Chaos. wearing it to a wedding. I'm, now you, know, you get why I was second guessing. I'm not <laughs> here. I'm not going out to the club in it. You Dan know. and some other person as well was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was bad. I said it's a lot. <laughs> That's of all I said. That's what I said, it. That's a lot. It's a lot. I guess I thought that was kind of the point of this. Whole yeah, thing. it's gonna be cringe to actually wear a costume that doesn't seem unironic, mm. in my opinion. Mm. Okay. So making something crazy, it's like oh, okay, they're doing a goof, right? Right. But if, when, we're, if we're wearing this, then people are like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's like, are, are they going? They're a professional bowling team. <laughs> <laughs> really? I like that vibe. I don't know. All right. Okay. Well, all the right. people will speak. Hey, yeah. So this. So, okay. So we don't. We're not. We're not accepting the late entry. This is. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep this one. This okay. One. Beautiful. Very nice. Up next. That's Cameron. Yo. Oh. I like that a lot. That's <laughs> cool. Motocross? F1. 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 Yeah. I don't yeah. know shit about F1, but I know it's got a letter and a number, just like us. Right. Um, Here's all the sponsors F1 that canceled yep, Manscaped. I, I know honey. we uh, are few and far between, but maybe we could Velcro those uh, if we get more sponsors. <laughs> so we can take them off as needed. If we could Velcro them. Uh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Daft Punk's cool, so I threw in the helmet. Um, I love it. Are the shows Velcro as well? Yeah, I guess I, I made this before leftovers. <laughs> uh, hung up the jersey, but well, yeah, you, know. you should probably make it. Yeah, like AB said. Just Velcro all of it. Yeah, yeah. I can Velcro the name of the podcast, too. Right, right yeah. All right, uh, chill, damn. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the vibe there. <laughs> very nice. Very cool. Yeah, I feel like I could fall dope. off a motorcycle on this. Let's do it. The us and Jay Leno. Nice, dude. Nice. <laughs> that's Sam. Jay Leno. Excuse me. Well, I'm having a horrible GERD today. I just feel it in my neck. Feeling GERDY. <laughs> Feeling goody. Now here's a uniform. Oh, I'm Sam. Oh, Sam, did you seriously give me <laughs> okay, shit? So and you put forward a mesh top. <laughs> Listen, no, there's layering. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we would layer the tank top on top of the mesh. Okay. <laughs> black parachute pants, platform <laughs> crusher crocs mm -hmm. with those gibbets. And mm -hmm. then no one else had an element of Teddy Fresh in their uniform. Mm-hmm. We will be wearing that little beret. This is a Teddy Fresh hat? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's get down with the I didn't know that. I always thought you were wearing it. I thought it was cool. I was thinking we could surf some keyword together. I think that you're exactly right. This is wild. <laughs> this is way crazier than layering, Ian's. The layering. You have to see the vision. The, the vision. We're going to look like those dudes dancing under the bridge. I'd wear you're that today, look tomorrow, like and the next day. Yeah. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I want this now. That's so true. The Eddie. shirt is kind of like Ice Spice inspired. Mm -hmm. How um, She has that um, uh, hot person at work shirt. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm this sorry. Is, this we is would, scary. We would serve. We'd eat this. I put, I'd wear it if I have to, but this one scares me the most. Of anyway. <laughs> I see your vision, Sam. I Thank like you. It. I don't look good in mesh. <laughs> I have never. Have we ever seen you in mesh? We have. That, that's why. Yeah, yeah, we actually have on the 
uh, Jesse Wellens thing. You were a mush, right? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Not right. flattering to my body. <laughs> okay, Sam, I see what you're doing. I see you. Very nice. Thank you. Very scary. Ian, your thoughts on this uh, after the criticism you faced? Look, I think that she's very talented and I appreciate the effort she put in. <coughs> you hear how I said that? Happy wife, happy life. Oh, that's an example. That's how criticism is supposed to sound, or feedback is supposed to sound, Sam. Yep, exactly. Did they not eat? Did these guys eat? They did. They ate. I don't even see them in mesh, man. There's definitely some mesh somewhere, it's right? Probably I see it on the oh, right. Oh, yeah, I just saw mesh. These guys are rule. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Us next year in our new uniforms. Vibes are everything, man. Vibes till I die. Doesn't it feel like this should all be taking place at night? <laughs> Wait, the only guy in white is all covered in blood. This looks like it shouldn't be taking place at all, Dan. I'm yeah, fair, honest. but like if you're gonna if you're gonna glow sticks and pretend like you're in the matrix and uh doing glow <laughs> sticks, probably middle of the day just seems like a odd time. The glow for sticks it. don't really vibe in the daylight. Yeah. True. Well said. Um Okay, Sam. I see you. Up next we've got Zachary. Zachariah. Oh, the basketball shorts. The whole basketball vibe. Um, so, never go wrong with the Hawaiian. You know? um, I thought it'd be cool. I really like the colors blue and gold. Uh, so, I don't know. I, I saw the vision and I uh, made it happen. Mm. It's like a never beautiful... Wrong. We're like little pieces of gold in the sky. So, are, yeah. we, are we all wearing the name sack? Not kind of funny. It will be customized too. <laughs> it will be customized. Oh, yeah. We'll too, but I want to wear a sack. <laughs> Zach, are you in the shower right now? What's that noise? Zach, you okay there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, the audio was crazy. That's all. Yeah. All right, Zach. Thank you. This is what this is. And then we got the sneakers. Sheesh. We got the J's. Shit. We be Damn. good out here, dude. The sneakers are going to make this one the most expensive. Yeah, those don't look cheap. How much? What do these sneakers run us? Are these exclusives? Depends on the size, but uh, probably a couple hundred. Okay. Here's here's us. <laughs> Why is it? Uniform. Yeah, it sounds like there's just a plane taking off in the background. It's a good vibe. Here's Zach's uniform. Thanks, I appreciate it. That big. Look at the size of that thing. Kimosabe right Zach. Holy smoke! Love Kimosabe <laughs> Zach. <laughs> um, all right, very good. <laughs> very good. Is that it? Was that everybody? I feel like I guess it was. Very cool. <laughs> Here's the gallery. Let me pull this up. So just to recap here. We've got AB with the bomber jacket, Lena with the joggers, mm -hmm. Zach with the Hawaiian Basketball shirt armor. swag, mm -hmm. Love with the Taco Bell chic, Nyoka, the Niero Taco Bell, Yo quiero Taco Yo quiero Bell. Taco Bell. Hell yeah, bro. Ian with the uh, gas station attendant. Shirt. <laughs> Seems about right, yeah. Um, what a fun gas station. A beautiful gas station. Olivia coming in with the uh, I'm with stupid customized arrows pointing at me from every direction. Very good. Sam is trying to get me in mesh. <laughs> Goth. Sam is trying, or Cam is trying to get me on a motorcycle. And Dan is trying to get me. Onto the bridge of a spaceship. <laughs> yeah, where is Dan? No, not quite. Where is Dan trying to get me? In a Gundam. In a Gundam. In a Gundam. Okay. Piloting a large robot. You know Where's what? Da Dan is trying to get me to run for the uh, governor of Florida with those boots. I wonder. <laughs> True. Hilo <laughs> would probably funny. make a dope one. 
Yeah, I don't know if she heard about it. We, I don't know if she gave we gave her an opportunity. I wonder what her idea would be. We can check in on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I gave her a heads up about that we were doing this, but she was pretty busy. It sounded like. So. <laughs> yeah, she's been slammed lately at the end of the year stuff. All right, so we have a poll, an offsite poll this time because uh, there's so many options, and it allowed us to put the photos in there too. So I am going to Hi. pin it in the chat. I really don't know which is one's gonna win. I know what I'm gonna vote for. Right now. And I'm also gonna spam it in the chat right now. Oh, you so can see the pictures? That's so cool. The poll. Oh, this poll is awesome. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that's kind of conf okay. So I know what I'm voting for, but this could really go any direction. But I'm feeling this one in particular. Let's see. My vote is in. Get to the polls, people. This will determine our fate. Rock the vote. Vote or die. Hmm? I think it crashed. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't. I won't even process my vote. Are they think there's bots rigging the election? Mm -hmm. yeah. I think there's immigrants in chat rigging <laughs> our elections. Yeah. We got our they're not, really they're not, not even members. They're not even legal members, and they're Dude, voting. why? What is? It? Okay, that's so annoying. I see you put a lot of effort into it's this. It's not your fault, Dan. I'm yes. seeing results. My page just refreshed. You did okay. Here, I mean, me... this isn't that many people. They really they can't handle. A I mean, I don't. How often do this website like this have like ten thousand people coming to the website at once? Yeah, at, once, yeah. at one time, that is a lot of traffic. For yeah, one. yeah, for sure. For, for one like time. just a random website that probably has a couple hundred a day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's poll maker. It's a pretty <laughs> big website. Their website is fucked, bro. I can't even load it anymore. All right. Come on, take quiz dash maker dot com. Oh, it loaded for <laughs> me. It just took a while. It All right. So we ha do we have any results? Well, uh, I can't. Well, I can probably see the results once I vote. Right. I'm gonna vote for myself. I did too, so you gotta love yourself. Fun. I'm gonna be honest, I voted for the one that I thought was the cutest. You voted Which for is, Mesh, didn't you? Definitely you voted for the, the mesh. mesh. I knew you were doing Death that. The oh, mesh. Boy. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. I just get an internal air when I try to vote. I am yeah. not meshing with the mesh. <laughs> um, I can't, yeah, the website's just. Well, I didn't use Strawpole because they always crash. I think it's more reliable than this, though, right? Uh, may I don't know. Well, this seems like every time we try and do a poll, it crashes. So maybe we should just let members vote. <laughs> sure. How do we control that? Discord. Oh, on Discord. We l we just link on Discord. Huh. Uh, it, I mean, that would be that would definitely. If we get prevent. a sizable amount of people voting, it won't really matter if it's like ten thousand or a thousand, probably. If it's I think if we did it in Discord, we might get, we would get a lot less, maybe like a few hundred, yeah. maybe a thousand at most. Yeah. But that's enough to. I think so too. I can't, this website is absolutely nuked. All right, uh, I guess. It did, it just loaded for me finally. So um, I guess we'll come back. I can't see it. Yeah, I guess we'll just check in on it later. We'll check back on, on that later, guys. We'll see who's the big winner. I'll tell you who I Keep voted. trying. If you're in line, stay in line. Actually, should we talk about who we voted for? Sure. sure. I mean, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't want to influence the vote, but I'll tell you, I voted for Loves. Oh well, thank you. <coughs> I appreciate that. that one. Yeah, I think it's sick. Uh, it's a bit it. weird and wild. That's what I like about it. Would you? Did you guys all just vote for yourselves? I voted for Cam. Oh, nice. I couldn't vote. <laughs> You're not a legal uh, member. Yeah, yeah, you have a green card. No green card. All right, we'll come back. Thank you. Thank you. People are saying don't use Discord. We probably won't do that. No, I want people to vote. We just we just need to figure out a way to not crash these sites. The real solution is YouTube make their shit better. Have more than four options on fucking YouTube. Um, this. Oh, did you guys know Panera killed someone again? I saw that. This is the second fucking fatality from their damn supercharged lemonade. So sad. Um, Panera was just named in a second wrongful death lawsuit. 
over their highly caffeinated charged lemonade. We crunched the numbers on this the last time. I was trying to figure out, were they really like um, negligent? And so each cup of this shit has 400, almost 390 milligrams of caffeine. For comparison, Red Bull has 80. Prime Energy has 200. And the, I guess the problem is somebody drinks this and then they get a refill. It's just lemonade. You, you could kick back two lemonades in one meal for sure. And then you're pushing 800 milligrams. That's a lot of caffeine, man. Um, and somebody died and they didn't, they didn't, did they change anything about their lemonade situation? They released a statement saying that they were going to be more explicit about labeling <laughs> the caffeine, but I mean, did they else. ever? Do we but know? Did they do that? <laughs> That I didn't check. I mean, it, it wasn't that long ago that the first incident happened, so I wouldn't be surprised if they hadn't finished rolling out whatever updates they wanted to I feel to like do. any sane company would just remove the product for the time being. Right. Yeah, well, Panera released a statement after the second death, too. They did? What'd they say? Yeah, it's highlighted in oh, I'll read it. three. But this is all it says is charged lemonade. I mean, it doesn't seem that serious. They say it here, but... It's easy to miss. I don't think most people would die from drinking two of these, but people with health conditions, I guess, are at risk. Yeah. Hopefully that lemonade's good, at least. They went out with, like, enjoying a nice drink. <laughs> Refreshed. I hope so, too. That's all I hope. Uh, quite sad, though. 21-year-old um, Sarah Katz went into cardiac arrest at Panera Bread. Jesus. She did have an existing heart condition. Same as the last person, right? Here she is. She is the initial person. Mm -hmm. Oh, she was the first person? She, she was the first yeah. person. Oh, mm -hmm. rest in peace. So young. Yeah. Man. Supercharged lemonade claims another victim. Uh, her lawsuit says the lemonade was not uh, labeled properly. Not as an energy drink. Now, 46-year-old Dennis Brown from Florida, his family has filed a wrongful death suit after he died drinking the lemonade, apparently. <laughs> Here's a photo of dear, dear Dennis, who is, I think, potentially even in Panera, enjoying a scrumptious-looking sandwich. Although, no, this isn't Panera. Is it? This is like an iced tea he's enjoying. He's a, he's a tea drinker. Lemonade is in that category. Arnold Palmer. <laughs> so here's Dennis, minding his own business. Dennis suffered from ADHD, high blood pressure, and chromosomal deficiency disorder. The suit says he would often avoid caffeine. Dennis's family suit states that Dennis refilled his lemonade twice before walking home when he was found unresponsive after suffering a cardiac arrest and pronounced dead. Dennis' suit also states that the charged lemonade wasn't labeled explicitly enough. Uh, Panera Bread released a statement expressing sympathy for the family while staunchly defending the safety of his product. The statement noted that the company's investigation led them to believe that Brown's passing was not caused by the product. Panera characterized the lawsuit filed by the same law firm as the previous one, which made me raise my eyebrow a bit, as equally Great without comment. merit. So here, this is interesting. This lawsuit comes from the same people. And I also, do you think, they found him passed away walking home. I, I don't know, how can they put that on the, how can they put that on the lemonade? I don't know. Maybe just... The labeling part of it. <coughs> yeah, if he has ADHD and high blood pressure and he's taking ADHD medication, that makes his, you know, his pressure even worse. And then adding caffeine to that, it's a pretty deadly mix. I'd like to know the, the facts of the case. They said he had two. I'd like to know the evidence. Is there a video of him, like, slurping down two? Did we get a blood, uh, blood uh, sample? Um, but don't you think it's a little fishy that it's the same firm? They turned it into, like, a... Definitely. They're just like, ooh. Did you, they're running commercials at 3 a.m. Do you or someone you love died from Panera Bread Lemonade? Call us. 
We specialize in suing Panera Bread for people dying from lemonade. They get very specialized these days. Very specialized. Uh, but that being said, I think they probably got to have a case because from what I can tell, the lemonade is still there and they didn't change the marking on it. So, I mean, if, and how many, there's probably got to be even more people that died from it. They never even made the connection or, or made the lawsuit. If, that sounds scary. It is what yeah. it is. It is what it is. That's what Panera Bread said. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, shit, you know, drink at your own risk. Fuck. You know what they need to do is add a scolding uh, crossbones to this. Yeah. Drink at your own risk. Risk of death. <laughs> uh, Ethan, where did you, I'm sorry, because I was looking into a little bit more. Where did you see that it's the same firm? I read that in the statement here. It says, um, it says, family um, statement noted that Panera characterized the lawsuit filed by the same law firm as the previous claim as equally oh, without okay. merit. Have you or a loved one died at Panera Bread? Call us. Todd and Todd. <laughs> law firm in Florida. We specialize in Panera Bread related deaths. And we've won our clients over $10 billion. I, we recommend sending you or someone you love to Panera Bread and drinking a bunch of it. If you're injured or going to cardiac arrest or die, contact us. We'll get you a bunch of money, or at least we'll get you some gift cards to Panera Bread. We we'll either get you a bunch of money, or at worst, we'll get you some gift cards. They'll probably do that for us. Settlements today. Oh, the, okay, so we have update on the, um, the voting? Yeah, so... Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have a very tight race between Sam and Cam here. A matter of, uh, just a handful of votes. Wow. Every vote counts, people. Um, I will say, though, we only have about 2,200 votes right now, so... And there's about 43,000 of you watching right now, so... Get the votes Some in, Some of y'all ain't voting. Get us in mesh. Well, the website is up. Well, if I thought I don't know why I thought yours would do better just because it's so wild. I feel like people just wanted to see us in something crazy. Uh, Sam's yeah, is crazy though. Happening. Sam's is crazy. I mean, a lot of these are pretty crazy. <laughs> Sam's is nuts. Man. <laughs> yeah. You really want me in a mesh top, girl? Why you do that to me? I mean, Cam is pretty fucking cool too, though. People. Yeah, I, I've messed with my, Cam's. A my lot. problem with Cam's it looks super hot. I mean, we always crank the AC in here, but yeah, I also like the mesh. There. Oh, Cam just took the lead, as a matter <laughs> of fact. Holy shit! I'm grateful for that. Cameron, this is <laughs> this is maybe our closest pull ever. I mean, yeah, 31, 31. Tiny, tiny margin here. Incredible. Vote with your hearts. Incredible I, stuff. I'm, I'm happy wearing any of this stuff, so. Cam wow. seems to be taking the lead. Cam is taking the lead by 1%. This is truly a historic voting session here oh on the H3 Podcast. Let's go ahead and look down. 10% uh, is third place Dan's. Love's is closing in nearly to 7%. Uh, mm. Love, no love for that love. Can, I'm going to talk about love Ian, Ian getting crushed. I'd love to know about how your other one would have done, Ian, but they're saying no to Ian's uh, gas station uniform, 6%. Zach is getting creamed, man. I don't know where's that coming from. Four percent for poor Zach. Can I, I voted for Zach. I can say oh. it now. Zach's looks the most comfortable. Yeah, it does. Yeah, for sure. Very cool. cash. <laughs> Zach, your sound is. Although so I bet fun. Lena's would be comfortable too. I the I like the tracksuit. Uh, Lena's looks comfy. Three percent. Come on. Well, I I mean, <laughs> perhaps we should have done rank choice voting. I wonder how that would have mixed everything up. Well, it, I don't think it matters. Mm -hmm. Olivia's beating mine. Olivia's <laughs> <crazy>. back. <laughs> she overtook big time, thirty-five percent to Damn. Cam's thirty-three percent, thirty-four percent. Oh, you mean, you mean Sam? Sam. Oh, Sam back. took the lead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, like, 
Of these two, I'd rather wear Sam's just because Cam's look super fucking hot. Like, I don't think I could sit Are you kidding me? You want to wear this? Just because, I mean, it's more breezy. Mine has temperature control. It does. It does have that. It does have that. Ventilation. Go down, let me see. I want the dang helmet, though. Imagine popping your hip in that beret, Ethan. Sure, yeah, I can imagine it. Um, Olivia's... I voted for AB. I have less than one. Oh, fucking AB, why'd they hate you so much? Poor AB, you got 41 <laughs> votes. Like it's a little hey, personal, I don't know. It's less weird. than one person. I don't think it's personal. Come pod on. Pod squad, man. I think it's the pod squad. The pod squad mm. may have sunk you. True. Um, well, Lena's did better. I don't, right, that one did. Not much, though, frankly. Right. Tough crowd. Well, there can only be one winner. I mean, that's, that's why I was saying perhaps we should have done ranked choice voting because... You can get a clearer sense. Because I think now what I'm seeing is the gap between the top two and everyone else continues to increase. And I think it's because people psychologically, they don't want to feel like they waste their vote on a low ranked one. Mm. And so they jump in on those final two, which is why the ranked choice may have uh, opened up some more options. But that's okay. We, 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 we're sticking to this. Well, I, this have a, I have a solution for the overheating too. Go ahead. We won't wear shirts and we'll unzip them. Okay, the, wow, that'll be really mm. cool. Oh, that'd be so They sick. call them dumps. Maybe we could wear mesh under that, too, if we want to. Oh, wow. And that's wow. actually a really good idea, so when I sweat, it'll just be sweat, skin, and leather. It'll be hot. <laughs> you can't add it's, stuff now. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm taking away stuff, if anything. No, you mm. added mesh. Oh, I'm well, if we want to, like, you know, combine the two. Oh, I feel like I, we could find a solution. I, I, so at this moment, Sam is up by 2%, which is significant. You know, that's about 100 votes at this time. So I'm feeling pretty confident that Sam is going to sweep this. We'll give it one more moment here. I but really it's... wish we could get that helmet. So sick. Dumps. And then dumps. bang each other. Head. We can run into Big each other. Dumps. Head, head button each other. It'd be fun. Happy Chinooka to Sam, whose uniform is going to be winning here, it looks like. Very good. Well, this one, I also, thank you, Sam. I feel like I could buy Sam's uniform at, like, uh, Ross for, like, five bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're slaying on a budget. Oh, those Crocs Absolutely. look pricey. That are, will probably be the most expensive part. Are those rare mm. Crocs? No. Um, I think I found them on the Crocs website. Okay. So or, the, I think. That's good. I'm happy for you, Sam. But I was excited to have a badass outfit. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. Um, I mean, I'm it'll be funny. This isn't outfit. badass to you? Yeah. Uh, you know, we'll see. It'll be funny. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to sit in that, frankly. Well, but we have I will to wear it every day. It's our uniform. Right. Right. Until we don't. I want to go to gas station. All right, I'm waiting for Dan to come back to wrap it up, but it looks like it's a Sam dub. So congratulations, Sam. I'm the mesh. so excited to wear that. Congrats, Sam. Thanks, guys. You We're absolutely all gonna look great. <laughs> Absolutely crushed that man. Crushed. So let's see what else we got here. We got about 30 minutes left. <laughs> One thing that I think could be fun at this point in time is the um the friend, the ex best friends PowerPoint. Oh, do you want to do that? We I, can. It's pretty short. I, I'm I've been, you know, this has been getting hyped up to me, and I'm curious what the heck. It's all it the most <coughs> silly, most petty drama I've seen all year, which Sounds is just fun. her fave. None of it matters. The stakes are so low. It's just two ex-best friends decided to air out their shit on TikTok. I love that. Yeah. So, okay, take, to walk me through it. Yay. Okay. Did you pull it up? Uh-huh. Okay, sweet. The girlfriend, the best friend, the boyfriend, the hoodie, and the sandwich. Petty is our fave. All right. So many moving parts. Literally. So let's start off with the definition of petty. Of little importance. Trivial. Secondary, lesser importance. Therefore, no one should go harass either of these girls. No harassing. Zero. We don't buy it. We don't believe in it. We are grateful that these girls gave us all of this to We thank to you guys for serving. Yes, we do. So this is just, you know, a stakes graph in terms of like, whether or not the stakes are high, they're not. They're low. Don't harass these people. Now what, let's get what started. What is the commodity variety line? You know. What does you that know. mean? Oh, you don't know? Okay. No. 
I was interested. I thought it was like, yo, this is a new way of <laughs> thinking about things. I I mean, like, we talk about in <coughs> in theater, we talk about stakes all the time. And my, my professor would always <laughs> reference the stakes chart, but I actually never once. Well, this is a real chart. Today. Yeah, I got this on Google Images. So what the fuck is commodity and variety? Well, how is those separate? How are those opposites? Dan? I just got back from the bathroom. What are we talking about? <laughs> Sam what am one, I looking Dan. at? Huh? Sam won, and now we're doing Best Friends PowerPoint. Oh, okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> Here's the culprits. Okay, so these are the players. Kelly is on the left. Kelly's boyfriend in the middle. Whoops. Joanna on the right. Okay. Very good. This is Kelly's side of the story. This is the video that came out first, but not the one that popped off initially. So when this one went out, it was like to a smaller yeah, pool of people. Like talk about Interesting. So she started it. Yes. To be a but she didn't say her friend's name. For oh. All right. Let's hear what Kelly has to say about this. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Kelly. Get ready with me while I talk about the ridiculous things that this girl that claimed to be a girl's girl has done to me. For context, I've never ever in my life had to cut out a person cold turkey and I've never had to go through a friendship breakup because genuinely I feel like I only open up to the people that deserve my time and I end up loving them for a lifetime, hopefully. But this girl was just an exception. I am going to try my best to talk through all of this without freaking raging. The first one is not that bad, I guess, compared to the other things that she's done. But the day that she met my boyfriend or like a couple days into it she added him to her close friend story and just started Ooh. posting the random tmis on her stories like a attention so trap. so so her theory is that she added his boyfriend and then was posting for him mm -hmm. that's what she's saying that's pretty presumptuous but people go ahead. do that i mean yeah is it, it is not? pretty presumptuous i'm not i guess i've never used in terms Instagram, of putting, I never use Instagram as like a normal, like just person. I mean, like I used to. Some people flirt by putting people on their close friend story. I think it's just like, oh, we are friends and I'm letting you know that like, I want to be friends. Yeah. Like I would put my friend's boyfriends on my close friends. I think I do. I don't have a, a close friends list, but I'm always flattered when people add me. Yeah. I think you're on my close friends list. Oh yeah. I think yeah. I've seen yours. It's very an nice. honor. I yeah, like literally. those ones. <laughs> I love those ones. I always click the, the close friend ones. You never look at my story. I always check. It's you always, do? It's always <laughs> yours. Yeah. How do you... I check for close friends. Wait, how do you tell? How can you even tell you when someone... You swipe up. I see, it, I see on the close friends who's checking it out. Are we close friends? You're on my close friends. I don't know if I'm on yours. I don't have a close friends list. Okay. Well, you're on mine. <laughs> Hold on, Cameron. You just get exposed. Bro. I don't know why, because usually I, all you guys come up at the top of my list. I don't, here, all right, let's take a look. Here. I don't have any. Oh, you're right with now. my boy, Alex. What? I see. I'm looking at your stories now. Oh. Oh yeah, with Alex. But well, there's no close friends right now. I can't see. Well, I just looked at all of them. Oh, dude. thank you so much. And I'll be back. That's good. Thank you. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. I look forward to your return. Because you, oh, so God. here I see loves at the top of my pile, but Instagram's been fucking you over, dude. I must have done something to piss off the Instagram gods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Kelly. I guess I did something to piss, piss, off, off, the Instagram Instagram piss off the Instagram gods. Piss off the Instagram gods. Not even a thirst. Oh, is that what <laughs> happened? I see what you did, Ian. <laughs> Talk to you soon. The <laughs> Ellen. What whatever. I thought of just. Really was... <laughs> <laughs> trap and this was before my boyfriend and i started dating but like everyone knew that we were into each other this okay. one kind of goes with the first one she borrowed my boyfriend's hoodie when we we're all over at his house because she was cold and then she took the hoodie home which is fine girl like okay i'm already saying like this is really <laughs> you didn't need to make this video at all right <laughs> <laughs> like this is some like really normal type of life shit Interesting. Be warm. But, I haven't, I, but I'm standing by and no, 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 standing no. back and standing by. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like a, like warm, a good... Don't get cold. Yeah. But you she know. continues to wear that hoodie for the next two weeks and posts all about it on social media. A picture of her in his hoodie. Which is, again, I can let it pass. Whatever. Starts to randomly show her love for the brand that my boyfriend likes. Oh, Never on. heard this girl brag about how much she likes this brand. All before. of a sudden, she's wearing Nike or some shit. 
Dude, she started wearing Nike, dude. <laughs> I actually feel I, like that might that might be the brand. It needs to, it depends how niche it is. She's talking about yeah. Adidas? Talking about Nike? Then come on, give me a break. Okay, go on. Never. Until she met my boyfriend. Spending hours getting ready to see him, calling up my other friend and telling her that she thinks he's cute and that she could see herself getting along with him. Long One thing to point Hold on, out. Are they dating yet? They are yeah. not dating yet. Yes, so, they are. She said they're not. She said before. She said, no, no, no. She's about to say when we are already dating. Oh, okay. If okay. you okay. just that, for this part. Okay. Okay, okay. Go ahead. While we were already dating. Yeah. Okay. Getting him the sandwich that he mentioned he likes and then volunteering to wake up early so that she can hand the sandwich to him so that he can take it to work. I'm kind of surprised right now because now that I'm talking about this months after... Dude, after I don't know how y'all ladies do. This This device... Is terrifying. Yeah, it's torture. Yeah, it is. I use it every day. Like, <laughs> I know. I I can't. I don't know how you ladies use it or whoever uses it. One um, day we'll teach you. Everybody who uses it, mm. it you can't just sit there and casually use it like that's like it doesn't look psychotic. It does look like a torture device. Yeah. So scary. Medieval. First time I saw it, I saw my mom. I was like, "What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Okay, mom." happened i find this hilarious i'm not even raging anymore i just think it's kind of funny how hard this girl is trying honestly i don't blame you girl my boyfriend is cute just hope you can find a new man to buy sandwiches for every morning mm -hmm. goodbye and i wish you the best interesting so i think the the big question i have is when they started dating because she mentioned in the beginning mm -hmm. we weren't dating yet then she mentioned some here in the back we were already dating i think the first night when they met that was probably the night that they all met him for the first time and then they all went back to his place so they were all new friends but her bestie was about to like date this guy but she also probably thought he was hot maybe so after that night she was like i'm gonna put him on the close friends because we all followed each other but like even though my friend is the one who's like pursuing him because she, she you'll see in her video this she whole, did bring them to talk to each other this whole thing where it's like when have i seen i've seen this in reality shows i don't can't remember what but it always seems so juvenile when it's like you knew I was into him. How mm. could you talk to him? It's like, well, everybody's single. Mm. You got nothing was happening. He's just he was he's clearly not into you. You know what I mean? We got to live our lives. Yeah, I think girl code it really depends on um the context. Cuz sometimes I do find it a bit of a betrayal when I like watch stuff like this happen. Mm. It was a girl's girl thing. Yeah, if someone really does know and they and they pretend not to, but I it's think not that fair because, like, let's say two friends, you're in the same class with a guy, mm -hmm. and let's say you both independently notice him and you like him, you're interested, whatever. Mm -hmm. and your friends, you probably sit together, True. and so he comes in, he interacts with you guys. Then when you get home, or a week later, or whatever, one friend. Is like I am so into him, but the other girl was already into him. She just didn't say it. So True. what? Cause, so what is it like? Tap tap, no seat back shit. Like, <laughs> I think. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just not fair. I think yeah. Based on this story, it sounds like those like those two were feeling each other, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, and then like it was just clear. But that is also her side of the story. But in the next video, which is the next slide, she does explain that she brought them to one another and was like, you guys should talk. Interesting. Yeah, next video is re revolutionary. So <laughs> this this opinion. was just a normal video. Yeah, I was kind of on her side in her first video, but when the second girl dropped the video, I was really? like, oh, girl. This, <laughs> really? <laughs> you, so she changed there everything, was huh? a, There was some stuff that she conveniently left out that was like this, specifically with the sandwich. The second okay. or the first? Well, let's the watch. First wait, wait, girl let's, left some let's stuff. Let's let's okay, okay, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. No, that's Hold what on. I'm saying. Just so be coming. prepared. Here's mm. Joanna. Her side of the story. Whoops. This is her side of the story. Girl, speak. This is the one that blew up. Let first. me just. Interesting. So everyone clear up back some misconceptions. That 
Very interesting, okay. People are having online about me. So I don't know if you saw the video yet, but there is a video about a girl talking about why she ghosted a friend and the reasons behind that. And I am that friend that's been ghosted. And it's just so baffling to me that I had to find out this way when I have reached out so many times, desperately asking you what was wrong. The points that were made in this video, three points that I remember, close friends, let's start with that. She's saying that I was trying to get at her boyfriend, whatever, because I added her, him on my close friends. First of all, close friends don't mean a lot to me. And it was not only him that I added, it was everyone that I met that night. We met at a club together on my birthday and she whispered to me thinking that there that's was a important. guy over there that she thought was cute. That's and what it, that's what I said. It's her birthday. It's her birthday party. But like, it's not fair to be like, Cynically, a girl could be like, "Oh, I'm so into him," and then it's like nobody's allowed to pursue. No, what? that that's different. I think if the if your friend meets him first and she's told you she likes him, obviously dibs. <laughs> if you and your friend both think someone's hot, if they're clearly more interested in one of you, I think it's like an unspoken or spoken. Like you and your girl can like go to the corner and be like, <coughs> "Hey, I think he likes you better. Like it's cool," but it doesn't sound like they were good enough friends to even have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's hear. As her best friend, I'm going to play Cupid. I went to him and I was like, hey, my friend thinks you're cute. You guys should chat it up. They chatted it up. Ended up going well, so we went back to his apartment with him and his friends and me and my friends. On her birthday. So we all kind of became... Her birthday. Became like just comfortable with each other. And obviously, if I'm comfortable with you, I'm just going to add you to my close friends. It's really not a big deal. The attention traps, I don't know what she was referring to because if it was attention traps, like why would she also be on the close friends? If I just wanted that to be an attention trap, I would only add, guys, I'm trying to get out. I don't, I don't know, but I post thirst trap on my public story so that everyone can see that. Um, the hoodie. I'm just <laughs> notorious for not giving back hoodies and I am sorry. Oh, I just took longer to give this one back this because girl. it was really. <laughs> yeah, no, well, it's done. What? She's notorious for stealing hoodies? What do we, you don't like that. What's happening, Dan? What do you mean? Explain your- what, You can't- you can't steal a man's hoodie. Well... You can. What's the content? How did she get the hoodie? The, she it's says that up. she was cold. She says, I'm notorious for not giving back hoodies. That- It's done. But she it's says- well, What do you mean it's done? She's the villain? Is that yes. what you're saying? Okay. <laughs> She's a hoodie that's vi stealer. That's villain behavior. Who does awesome. that? Hmm. Am I crazy? No, you're not. I, you're not crazy at all. My yeah. question is, why do people see, keep giving this girl hoodies? And yeah. Like, she's she's conspiring. And then here what she says is, it was so, I liked it so much, I didn't want to give it back. Like, Wait, excuse cute. me, that's called theft. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'll be glad to hand them over. Especially in college, which I assume these people are in. This, these, these is not, hoodies, good hoodies are not easy to come by. You, that shit costs money. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> do find online. out what the hoodie looked exactly like soon. <laughs> okay, that's good. This better important. not be a nice hoodie or I'm gonna fucking flip, Don't you dude. worry, we've got, we've got all of the data. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, <laughs> go on. This is intriguing. Go on, go on. Tension trap? I would only add, <clears throat> guys, I'm trying to get out. I don't, I don't know, but. I post thirst trap on my public story so that everyone can see that. Um, the hoodie. I'm just notorious for not giving back hoodies, and I am sorry. I just took longer to You're give this sorry. one back because it was really cute. It's not Did because it, it was his hoodie, so hoodie and like I girls wanted to keep over the, the years have stolen my hoodies. Are is you there, kidding me? Hold is there on, a though. specific one you miss that you think about? Many. Still? Yes. Oh. Hold on. I have to say, if a girl is going to steal a guy's hoodie. Mm -hmm. And wear it. I mean, the hoodie thing, it, it, it's not meaningless. It, it smells like him. Yeah, I think it's endearing. Mm -hmm. It, I it think it's forces endearing. him to contact them to get it back. Yes. Or, for, or leaves the door open for them to contact him and say, oh, I have your hoodie. It's not, it's not nothing. Here's my question. If I had a boyfriend and my friend took his jacket and continued to wear it for like weeks, I would probably be like, what's Weird. the deal? True. And posting photos in it too. Like, what's the deal? Mm -hmm. Because that's that is straight girlfriend behavior. Yeah, but they weren't dating yet. No, they were. 
Were they? It was the first night she got the hoodie. When they, they said met. they just met. Yeah, yeah no, they just met. She said that they were feeling each other, and they, I mean, they continued obviously but to see each other and date. I mm. watched this when it came out, but I think the boy offered the hoodie up very, very broadly. She offered it to him. She didn't ask it, ask for it, right? But she still didn't give it back for weeks. Well, and her friend was like dating this guy. I think just keep watching. <laughs> this is interesting, and I would say on a guy's part, usually I'm not not all the time. But usually, the get the exchange of a of a warming garment, an over uh, uh, outerwear, is a sign of a flirtatious sign. Mm -hmm. Not always, but a lot of times. Longer and like I just wanted to feel cozy up in his hoodie. It was literally because it was cute. The sandwich. But you were feeling cozy up in his hoodie. I don't know if I can discount it so easily. Mm -hmm. We also don't. We find out about the boyfriend later. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Is like the most iconic part of this story. Um, you and I both know, babes. That, that sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. What? Oh, and at this mm -hmm. time, like, we the, sounds like the TV is not the only thing you mounted. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the phone. Shit. There's a big revelation. Hold the up. phone, bro. Oh, okay, shit. hold on. You were this living together, explained. too, me and this girl. Hold on, I, I can't miss a second of this. You're right, Olivia, this is good. Iconic <laughs> part of this story. <laughs> um, you and I both know, babes, that, that sandwich was an expression of my gratitude for mounting my TV. Oh, and at this time, like, we were living together, too, me and this girl. We were living together. Yeah, we were roommates. Um, so they were together. We were Us three were together in my room mounting the TV and, like, making jokes and making fun. Right. And then, like, I, I really wanted my TV mounted, and he did it. So I was like, oh, my God, like, I'm so thankful. Let me show my gratitude in some way other than just being like, thank you. So I picked up a sandwich um, after work at a bakery that's right next to my work. And I put it in the fridge, and I was like, okay, perfect. We have a sandwich secured for you. Come pick it up before work tomorrow so you can eat it before it spoils. Because why the fuck would I get you a sandwich and have well, it... Why did you buy him a sandwich? Are you creating a chore for him? That is... I mean, that is an <laughs> That's not a thoughtful gesture at all. She's yeah. like, hey, just so you know, come by first thing in the morning because I bought you a sandwich for no reason that you need to eat. It is interesting. <laughs> it's spoiled, kind. you know? It's nice. It's nice to get him a sandwich. It you would be nice if, sandwich. like, I was there and she's like, hey, I brought you a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. But she's like, I bought you a sandwich. Come get it. And at 8 a.m., I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Not hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Thanks, she though. She came with him to pick it up. I handed her the sandwich. If I really cared about, like, me getting uh, him the sandwich because it was, like, for him, I would have wanted to hand it to him. But well, I you didn't, didn't have a choice. The, it sounds yeah. like she removed that option from you. I'm not trusting her at all. I don't, I'm not trusting this girl. I don't care. It was just a form of expression. I would have done this for anyone else. It doesn't matter that it was him. Left the friendship with the other girl together and villainized me. And now one year later, you come on TikTok to talk about it is so low. And why am I blocked? Nobody knew who I literally you. saw the video. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, exactly. You didn't even... You're outing yourself. May maybe a lot of their mutual friends, friends know the story. Oh, I guess so it's more about, like, yeah. their local uh, yeah, reputations. That's fair. that's fair. Commented, and I said, let's not leave out details. Why'd you delete the comment? I'm, I'm sick of staying quiet. I'm sick of having to hear from Break other... Break your silence, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I will no longer be silenced. People, I heard this about you from her. <laughs> We've respected that you had your own perspective on things, but now that I know this is the reason, I'm so glad that you're not in my life anymore. Okay. Okay. Well, I gotta right. say, I think the first girl had a point. Something she forgot to mention, which I thought was the biggest deal, was that when she was dating him, she told their friend, I think we'd really get along, me and her boyfriend. And I think he's really cute. Where'd you get that? She said that in the first video. And this Which one, her says, or I, her? The first one, Kelly, said in that video that when they were already dating, she said to one of their friends, Joanna said okay. to one of their friends, I really think I could get along with him and so, he's really okay. cute. That's hearsay, though. That is hearsay, yeah. but it's something that we didn't She didn't dispute address. it. And she said there were three major parts of that video she can remember. And it's like, if my friend said that I said that about their boyfriend, that's the first thing I'd want to clear up. She did not dispute it. She did not. She did not address it.
She did not even write it down. All right, so what do we have here? The close okay, friends so the sandwich close and the friends. hoodie. The sandwich, the hoodie. I think close friends is the least important. I think sandwich, middle important. I agree. Hoodie, most important. Agreed. Yeah, Dan? <laughs> Right, Dan? I don't know. I don't know if I'd agree in that the sandwich one was pretty personal. You think? Like the hoodie, because like you can give a outerwear, a jacket, a hoodie to a friend and not necessarily for it to be romantic. But the sandwich thing, well, the fact that she kept the hoodie for so long. And posted in it. She said the, that she kept yeah. posting in the hoodie. They live together? That's yeah. what's so confusing. That's, I don't, I don't well, fit that in, into things. The if, boyfriend, he's yeah. kind of a catch. Oh, yeah? Is he a hunk? We'll see. Well, what I that? haven't seen the boyfriend. But what does that have to do with it? <laughs> it's just like some, <clears throat> sometimes your it, heart. <laughs> your heart. He, right? like, he, he's so, he's, he's so hot that he, he drove <laughs> this woman right. insane into <laughs> stealing his hoodie. He had to, she had to get him a sandwich. <clears throat> mm. All right, so here we have the hoodie reveal. So this is, well, this is his girlfriend. Yes. The first girl. Yes. Okay, first wearing girl the wearing the hoodie. Uh, yeah, after both videos went viral, she posted oh, making, oh, so, making this cute hoodie, or like styling okay, this so cute she, hoodie. Okay, so she got the hoodie back eventually. Yes. Okay, so he, she's she's trying to show the world the hoodie. That's the super cute hoodie she didn't want to give back. Okay. Oh, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Nike swoosh. It is was Nike. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but then the other girl, okay, but that makes the other girl's claim silly. Because, like, oh, she was wearing Nike all of a sudden. It's like, what? You wouldn't, who would even notice that? True. Well, we don't know if it was Nike. It was just, <laughs> that was a, a guess. All right. <laughs> I think we have to mute, guys. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Got it. Sorry. Right. Okay, so here she's styling the cute hoodie. She is showing all the different styles that a hoodie. And how do you know that this is the hoodie? Because she she said styling a cute hoodie. It went viral. Everybody, it's the hoodie. It's the hoodie. It's, it's the, the hoodie. hoodie. It's known. It's common knowledge. Yes. Yeah. It's okay. literally household. Okay. Okay. And then this oh, is the boyfriend. Wow. So hot. So when Dude, all of you're these. you're driving these ladies crazy, bro. When these photos dropped, all the comments changed. And they were like. Oh, Joanna, girl, I get it. Sure. I get it, Joanna. I, you get Joanna is, is the silly. second girl? Yeah, Joanna's She's the, 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 yeah, the best girl. You're yeah. like, I get it, girl. I get him a sandwich too. I still don't think what, it's Dan? cool. You don't. Yeah, get... it's just, you're still trying to steal your friend's boyfriend, and, you're, yeah, and more hot, importantly, bro. you're stealing his hoodie. Abs. And also, this is ridiculous. They lived together, That's and crazy. she just had the hoodie up in like her room or whatever. Yeah. It's like, how hard is it to just like, hey, here, here's the hoodie back. Yeah, it sounds like they should not she's, have been She's thoughtful she enough. To, she's thoughtful. Oh, uh, he mounted the TV. Better get him a sandwich and make him come over at 8 a.m. But I can't hand him the sweeter. He was. She, Fuck she off. Was, <laughs> Jesus. Dan's for taking this personally. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to get in on that. I feel like there's no question. Yeah, no about question. It. But I, the, the sandwich thing, I, I do think <clears throat> I, I tend to think the first go is right when watching it again. Mm. But. Why would they come and get the sandwich? It makes me think that they maybe are literally neighbors, like house. They neighbors. live together. No, no, no. The boy, the, the, and, the boy and the girl came together to the apartment where they lived to, right? That's what they said. Yeah. Right? Maybe she like spent so, the night or something. But there's no, like, no one in the right mind would go and get that sandwich, right? But what do you they, mean? they must have been very convenient for them. It's like, hey, you lived on the whole. Do you guys want to bring this sandwich? I'm suggesting they maybe lived in the same building. I'm not necessarily. I am maybe. still siding with the first girl, but it doesn't make sense. Why? You had a, you made a good point. If his girl, yeah, I think that was you, Olivia. If his girlfriend lives there, he could have been dropping her off, he right? Could have been coming to visit. And they could have, hey, grab the sandwich. On yeah. Anyways, so that maybe minimizes the sandwich thing mm -hmm. a little bit. But I think as a whole, I'm still siding with the first girl. This, this, no, but like, it's the fact that she got it and she's like, come get it tomorrow, regardless of how it played out. Yeah. That's a huge red flag, the sandwich. I mm -hmm. think, yeah, if I wanted to think <coughs> my best friend's boyfriend, I'd probably give the sandwich to my best friend to give to her boyfriend. Just because you, and you, listen, when it comes to the like significant others of your friends, you, there's, you, you want to be mindful of not even being perceived as crossing certain boundaries, mm -hmm. you know? Sure. Mm. She wants it. <laughs> that's for sure. Wait, is this it? Yeah. Oh, that's it. And that's it. 
it just it caused the internet to have like the loudest discourse I've heard since. Uh, mm. What's like another crazy viral story? Did they not Haley versus Selena? Yeah, the last one that you told. Neither me of them made a follow up. I was hoping they they each could keep spitting. Um, these were the super big moments. I can give you a little uh, update on Wednesday if you want. Also, the boyfriend have any statements? You know, I'd like to hear from him. All right, I can I can put together a little thing for you. Yeah, could you clear this all up. If there's updates, that'd be terrific. Okay, for sure. All right. Well, listen, that was fun. Yeah, good Yay? time. That was great. That's what I live for. That's why I come to work. Yes, I love the petty drama. I love that you love it. Uh, I don't get that stuff on my homepage. I wish I did. It's just jade cutting. And I do like that the stakes are very low in this in this drama. <laughs> Those are my favorites. Yeah. Low stakes drama. True. What's Couch Guy? Everyone's saying Couch Guy. Oh, my couch God. Guy. We That's talked it. about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's you, the, it was a super viral, like, a year and a half ago, maybe, where a girl or a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend went to visit their partner at college. It was the girl went to visit her boyfriend. And when she walked in, her boyfriend was sitting on a couch with a girl. Okay, and, like, right people were totally just tr trying to figure out the body oh, language. It was the body language. We yeah, talked we about her. it on the show. Yeah. We talked about it on the show, yeah. Didn't, like, what did we decide? It was sus. I mean, you yeah. look at the photos. <laughs> look at this. Right, and he, like, Take snuck the right phone there. away or something, remember? Oh, yeah, he was, that dude was guilty as shit. Yeah. Yeah, nah. You're... Look at her face there. That's yeah, funny. exactly. Videos unavailable. We are hiding the details, people. All right, listen. Thank you guys for being here. Oh, let me thank the donos real fast. We got a list going? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, if you go, sure. we have a channel for it now. I love right, been I'll dumping them it. in. Oh, good. Here. <coughs> Perfect. I sent it, gonna send it like that. Yeah, it's filtered. Let me see, where does it start here? Savvy Code, per Ethan's request, wrote some code for the Matt Rife Jordan Peterson episode. Oh, this is, for, oh, wait, no, that's old. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you to Kylie Crum. It's my birthday, 33. Zach? Hit her with it. Give it to her. Come on. Put the kibosh on that. I know, but it's wait, it's the season. Tis the season. I think Zach's gone, okay. or he's lost in the void. He's trying to talk, but he's in the he's in the dark place. Zach, Zach are you okay? What? You're good. You're good. You're good. Happy birthday, uh, Kylie. Tiffany Sullivan says it's my 32nd birthday. Oh my goodness, we're getting younger. Anyone 31? 32. Nine four six six. Thank you for the twenty gifted. That's very generous and very nice. Thank you so much, Dan Swerdlove too. <laughs> Who's that? It's the sequel, man. <laughs> the sequel is never as good as the original. Uh, I've been seeing them in the chat. They have a uh, a uh, it's P and P, but with like my face on P and P and like the famous let's go photo and their let's name is go. just Daniel Swerdlove too. Okay, I like the dedication. Yeah. Yeah. They donate a lot. They says, uh, I can explain. Referencing the Taylor Swift pick. Oh, great. Okay. Right. Right. Um and uh, I, feel I feel this. this. And Mendez, thank you. Sorry this is late, but I live in Chicago and I've been working with the newly arrived immigrants. They have nothing. Most of them sleep on the streets and tents in the freezing weather. Yeah. Dude, there's probably not not many places in the world as bad, at least where people live, as bad to be as Chicago during winter. Being homeless in Chicago, it's like a death sentence. Super cold there. They have they have too much, says Joe Rogan. Yeah. Why do they have why? But shout out to you for the work good for that you. you do out there. Yeah, you're 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 one of the you're a hero. Ones, definitely. Uh, Sponsella says, my boyfriend turned 26 today, Noah, and five years sober. Well, we love that. We love sober kings. <laughs> oh, professional douche. Wait, I wanted to talk to this guy. We had a, didn't we have a lined up to talk to him? I trolled Matt Gates into public accepting a fake award to raise awareness to the allegations against him. Do we have uh, receipts on that? I have email look, with him. Let me see. I've seen one of his videos. I thought it was pretty potentially funny or interesting. <laughs> <clears throat> he, 
he's fearless. I remember thinking this guy is like does not care about his safety at all. <laughs> well, look into that for Wednesday, professional douche. Perf. I just emailed him. Great. Uh, Vanya Olson. Hi, everyone on the H3 crew and Ethan. Just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you guys. I have kidney failure stage five, just like Shredder, and I basically live in the hospital. Oh, no. Are we working on a transplant, I hope? Is there no. st stage five? I guess, does it stop in four in dogs? Oh, there is stage five. Fuck. End stage kidney disease. Huh. Fuck. We got to get you a new kidney. Anyone got anyone going spare on a kidney? Cam, you good with that? We're gonna yeah. get we're gonna give her one. Okay, I got two, so I don't need no. Like, I'll give up one of them. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. I'll hook you up. I'll take care of you. I'll pay for one of the. I'll pay for just your first medical visit, David Dobrik style. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone want to go half these on a kidney? Half of mine, half of somebody else. I'll give you a tenth. Ten? What are we all pitching? Oh, that's nice. Does that work? Well, can yeah. we Frankenstein a kidney together for them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That works that way. Last I heard somebody gave somebody a kidney, they ended up hating them, right? Yeah. The Selena thing. But we're besties again. Oh, they're back? Yeah, they posted for each other's birthdays. <laughs> Dude, you better. Ne you can <laughs> never be mad at the kidney donor. You know, I think mm -hmm. it was it was the opposite way. It was <coughs> the the kidney donor was upset with Selena, but they mended things. Thank God. <laughs> Wait, did a fan give her? Yeah. No, bestie, a bestie. Oh, oh, best bestie. Friend. Okay, and then they had a falling out after the kidney transfer. <laughs> that's fucked up. Shit. Right. No. But we're back. We're back. All right, we're that's so good. back. Uh, Mallory Bugala says, Ethan, I was pregnant when Eli was pregnant with Bruce. It was so, so fun comparing fruit sizes with her. You helped me through postpartum, and my daughter's almost two now. It's awesome. I love that. Yeah, Bruce is almost two. It's so exciting. Such an awesome age, isn't it? So sweet. So sweet. So cute. It's so nice. So congrats. Love that. And thank you to everybody for watching, for being here. This is our last week of shows leading up to the fantastic special we have this uh, weekend. I am playing Do Not Get Sick. That is the game I'm playing this week. I am not going anywhere. I am not doing anything with peace and love, of course. Do not invite me to your event. Peace and love. I will not go. The first time I was sick and it was just horrible. And the second time there was an illness scare, I think. Peace and love, crew. Thanks for keeping us all entertained. Me and Ela share birthdays. Happy birthday to you tomorrow. And, and T. <laughs> all right, guys. So listen, um, Tuesday is Ela's birthday, so I will not be um, doing a member stream tomorrow. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to be taking Ela uh, and, and her mom for a fun, I have a fun day planned. Ooh. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Cool. But um, like I said, I'm making it up to you guys because we're doing an, epi an extra episode this weekend. The so, big show. Making it up. YouTube's yep. sexiest night. <laughs> Get it's ready, crazy. guys. And uh, I guess I'll just say it again to say it. If you are coming, uh, dressing up fancy is highly encouraged, but not required. Not required. Not required. At all. But if you want to get into the spirit of the night, come uh, come in a nice suit, come in a nice dress, whatever you got, and uh, we'll have some fun. Absolutely. Um, there will be a soundbite tournament on Friday, somebody asked. Oh, yes. Friday's the big day. I'm uh, excited. That's, what, that's one of my favorite episodes every year. That is always a good time. So we'll be back on Wednesday for an episode. We will be on Cheers, Friday. We'll be our <laughs> soundbite tournament and Sunday's a live show, guys. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Love you all so much. Have a jolly, jolly holiday time every night. It's December for pizza's sake. Get out there and have a jolly old time. Uh, it's beginning to look. It's big. Be eh. What's the Paul McCartney one? That everybody hates Simply them. having a Simply, Simply having, having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, Christmas time. time. Da 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 da. All right. Bum, Thanks, bum. everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bum, bum.